Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Are you chilling? Are you partying like rock stars? We are so close to moving. This is like my second to last stream in this place. Ah! <laughs> what am I going to do? That's so soon. Yeah. Tomorrow is the last stream. And then we pack. And then we drive. And then we unpack. And then I will, uh, I'll be living in Victoria. It's, it's wild to think of. Oh, I get to play IRL Unpacking. Wow. That game was great. I wonder if I find out that I'm the bad boyfriend when we unpack. Oh, no. Ooh, too real. Joe, I love you. I love you, Joe. How's it going, friends? Good morning. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Ghidorah. Good morning, Lobster. The third tail. Good morning, Kits. 68 months. Nice. Meowdy. Honey Banani, good morning, friend. Good morning, Alma and Cat Geist. Good morning. Good morning, Suffix. Sorry, in all caps, you have to shout. Uh, good morning, Totally Not a Beholder. Good morning, Bree and Bacon and Ghidorah. I think I, I may have hit some people twice. I just kind of go through chat and read up. As long as the diploma isn't under the bed. That was a, that was a, a tough moment, wasn't it? All right. Welcome back to Pacific Drive. Apparently, this is only our third day, which is kind of wild to think of. A reminder, this is a spoopy game. Make sure you have your safety hoodies deployed. Uh, this is on par with Subnautica in that the game isn't actually spoopy. I am just very scared of everything. Uh, the worst jump scare this whole time has been a branch followed closely by lightning tourists. Lightning tourists was no bueno. Good morning, uh, Bruce the Caboose. Greenery is our enemy, but I love greenery. I'm going to be so brave today. <sighs> I'm already brave. I'm already brave. I'm already brave. I am, I want you to know, I'm invested in finishing this game. Good morning, Yundinator. I'm invested. I need to know. You have a hoodie, so you can be brave too. I'm proud of you, Suffix. All right, behold our noble steed. Now, if you missed the last stream, you'll notice that we have replaced a good number of our panels and everything with armor. Are you a panel or are you a door? You're a panel. Let's replace our forward-facing panels with armored ones. This one can go back here. There. Yes. Very good. Um, as always, please let me know how the audio is sounding, how the balancing is sounding. I always want to give as good of a show as possible. All right. Let's throw some food in here. Oh, by the way, so if you missed it, uh, we have upgraded many things. We've upgraded many, many things. So we upgraded our storage. Uh, we've got this roof rack, but nothing's in it. We have a side fuel tank. We have side storage, which is great. Um, I think I actually want to have a couple of putties on me now, just in case. Uh, let's have uh, two repair putties in the vehicle now. Just in case. We'll throw that in here. Ah, good morning, Ink Slayer. Good to see you, friend. Side fuel. Fuel. <laughs> Doesn't sound better when you say it that way. <laughs> Good morning, Zed. Okay, so as an update, the map, much like Attack on Titan, uh, there are <laughs> we are moving closer to what I can only assume is uh, royalty inside of the most heavily layered area. We've gone from the outer layer into this inner layer, uh, which I believe is a visual representation of Act 1, Act 2, and then Act 3. Uh, so we are now in Act 2. And it's a little bit spookier. You'll notice we're in a swamp. Uh, there are all kinds of weird swamp friends here. Um, 
And apparently, uh, there's a lizard. If you look right down there at the lower right box, uh, we're going to meet a gecko friend. Horrifying. Terrifying. So, let's just do a quick little look around and make sure we've got everything. How are you? Uh, my front bumper is dying. My front bumper is dying. Do I still have a liberator? I've got a liberator with two usages yet. Okay, that's fine. Serge, what happens if you try and make drip coffee, but instead of water, you use more coffee? It's just going to taste gross. You're going to just end up with over-extracted stuff. My front bumper is a frumper. You know what? Yes. That's exactly what we're looking at. Not so friendly, are you? I mean, I'll fill my tank. So. Good. Good stuff. My car is in pretty good shape with the exception of that one panel, which is very bad. Should I just replace it right now? You know what we can do, actually? You know what we can do right now? We can put it in the back. Oh, wait. No, my... my No. I have the special bug zappity back there. That's fine. We'll leave this up front. When it goes, it goes. If you want to have extra strong coffee, look into stuff like cold brew. What you want is a longer extraction time. Uh, there are ways to make things taste better through a lengthy extraction uh, that doesn't involve recycling, if that makes sense. Hold on. I have a I have a cutter. I have a backup cutter. It's just taking me a second to get my feet under me here. You know what? Before we do quest, before we do quest, let's do side quest. Let's do a side quest here. Um, let's change our destination. So where am I currently? Like if I click here, can't click here. If I click here, let's go there instead. Right? Let's not worry about MSQ. Let's do a side quest. Let's be brave. Let's explore. Let's be brave and let's explore. Um, we're so brave. Now, what are we going to... with the Corrosive waterways. Okay, don't drive in the water. So, it says... I wish I could hover the mouse over. There's a little bit of barrel. There's a little bit of car. Uh, there's a high chance of... I don't know what the hammer tap tap means, but that's okay. Unstable anchor. Um, oh, it has tourists. Oh, it has tourists. It has an abandoned squire. Ooh! Okay, that's good. Abandoned Squire and a Salamander gr Grotto. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, let's take a peek at the Liberator. Let's buy one more Liberator. Throw that in the car. Because I want more backup metal parts, right? So put this one down in here. All right, everybody. Are you ready to hit the old dusty trail? Make sure you got snacks. Make sure you pee because we're not turning around until we get there. All right, everybody. Oops. Time to be so brave. So brave. You're not going to turn this machine around. I will. I'll do it immediately. Well, hold on. I'll I'll turn it around if you're a problem like misbehaving children, but I'm not turning around if you have to pee. That's a you problem. You understand? What I'm trying to say is I pay the bills. Wait, wait. I start here? That means if I want to get all the way here. I thought when I got to Act 2, I'd have an Act 2 garage. Huh. <laughs> All right, let's do a warm-up run and maybe open up a new path here. That was very interesting. Technically, Surge Chat pays your bills. All right, Ink Slayer, let's not... You're not wrong. <laughs> but... <laughs> Go 
go for a greasy McDonald's bacon? I've never been a huge fan of the McDonald's bacon, if I'm honest. Uh, the McDonald's breakfast, pardon me. I'm never, I'm never really looking for like, um, what's that weird kind of patty looking thing that's made out of potatoes that they have? That's fine. Hey driver, sorry about all that mess with Oppie. Time for more. There's no question, Oppie is a, is a, a once in a generation genius. I, I've watched her manipulate wavelengths with nanometer precision without batting an eye. <laughs> so, yeah, to see her go from being the sharpest person in the room to what she is now is disappointing. This place, it leeches away your sanity day by day. So for, for Oppie to live here in complete isolation, locked away with only bad memories and expired medication, nothing good comes of that. I'd feel a hell of a lot better if I knew why she suddenly cares so much about the remnants. Hmm. Wait, that's just a hash brown? I thought they had like a weird name for it, like uh, a flat McPotato or something like that. It's just a hash brown. I mean, I guess that's fine. Yeet. I cannot clear this tree. <laughs> What's that, sweetie? Oh, no. Okay. Apparently, the VOD we tried to upload yesterday broke while uploading, and now Joe is sad. Can we get some uh, hearts in chat for sad Joe? She deserves better. Thank you, friends. Oh! Oh, that's a friendly bun bun! Come back! Yes! Oh, that is the healing bun bun! Yay! We are blessed. Ooh. Everybody say hello to Bun Bun. Speaking of Oppy, <clears throat> you're not gonna like this, Francis. But I'm starting to think we can't do this alone. Look, it, it's not that I doubt our abilities. But no one knows the zone like that old bat. Are you heard what she said? She'll sabotage this remnant before helping us. Right. Well, she'll come around to our charms. No, she won't. Nothing in the 13 years we spent in R&D proved that she's open to working with anyone. She dug her heels in so deep that she wrestled everyone down into the grave with her. I... I can't be involved if she is. Wow. What are you talking about? This is the entire reason we stayed behind. To write the record of the zone. Not about the experiments and the technology, but to tell the legends of the land. I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't want to talk to her. I, I don't want her advice. I, I, I don't want to hear her goddamn voice. This isn't like you. What's going on, Francis? Is there something I should know? No. I like that we're listening to this conversation. All you work in Lim R&D, all the time you spent, your entire career... Your should, like, should we leave? You sacrificed it all for Arda, and how did they thank you? black hole in your resume when you can't tell anyone what you did you couldn't even tell people where you wiped your ass for 10 years whoa hey so no, I, I'm not please keep it family friendly not for me but especially not for you that, 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 that's not never mind you know sometimes I wonder how much of you stay here was actually to hunt these legends or if it was because you had nowhere else to go wow what in the what Y'all, they are, they are throwing down. Hello. Dang. Ooh, got a couple flares. Good. I needed to restock my flares. So... That was interesting. Uh, I definitely felt like we were eavesdropping on a different conversation, though. Uh, you know what? Let's keep the 20 on us and put the 3 in here. Yes, good. Heal my car, Bun Bun. 
heal my car. Is that a second healing bun bun? Gotta catch them all. Apparently, the car does not want to park on a 45 degree angle uphill. Honestly, disappointed, you know? Can I reach? Ah! It's gonna move the car over a little bit here. Is this game really just prep from the road trip from Alberta to BC? Oh my God, have you tried driving through the Rocky Mountains? This is, yeah, basically spot on. Sage Error with the 50. Thank you so much, friend. Can't help but notice that my health is continuously going down. It's probably nothing. A half year. Surprised how many like random floating rocks and like sewer pipes there are. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot of nothing out there and everyone knows weird stuff happens in the nothing. What is that noise? That branch looked exactly like the silhouette of a person. Ah, oh, I hate it. Can I take a right here? Take the scary branch counter. How dare you? I just touched that electrical zone. Caused my car to haywire a little bit there. Country road, take me home <laughs> to the place where I belong. Trying to get more food and more flares. No! My car! Um, I believe you'll find that's my car. Get out of here, abductors. Extremely rude. Ah, good morning, Huntress. Hey, I find myself actually not even wanting to ask rhetorical questions right now. I'm a little bit sensitive to it today. 
Um, so let's just talk, let's just set some ground rules really quickly. Please don't offer help uh, or explain mechanics unless I'm pretty explicit about it. My job involves a lot of like asking rhetorical questions. Um, yeah, so let's just, let's just try and set some ground line ideas on the back seating and the help. And uh, like, I'm literally biting my tongue and not saying stuff because, and that's not good. So yeah, let's have, hang out, have the vibes, have a good time. Ooh, pry bar. Safety hoodies in full use. It hasn't been too scary yet, but we'll see. Do I use Hey Chat? No, I don't. I, I don't. <laughs> uh, the reason for that is I don't want to specifically have to change my behavior. I just want to vibe and have a good time. Uh, I don't really care about electronics, so I'm not shredding any of these. Uh, maybe I should. I did it. I said the words. I mean, I like to think I'm pretty explicit when I am looking for help, but like, yeah. Plastic, copper wire. I guess plastic is good. Did you try? Did you touch my car again? No, the car's right where I left it. Okay. What are we doing here? He said the words. You're clear and you want help, but you're not clear when you accept help. Uh, what does that mean? All right, let's go this way. And maybe turn the car on. Does the car have a name? I've been calling it Our Noble Steed, the Noble Steed. Uh, it is Our Noble Steed is both the title and the name. Hey, good morning, Dalrent. Orb. Is that another friend? Yeah, get on there. Yeah, the car responds to Noble Steed, the Noble Steed, our Noble Steed. And uh, of course, the full name, uh, our Noble Steed, the Noble Steed. All right, I want to go. I'm going to turn around. I want to I want to ditch this popsicle joint now. I want to do that. Let's go to this one. Oh, buckets. Nope. Bad start. Um, no, no. Why are you so zoomy? Oh, buckets. Oh, buckets. I've never seen them go so fast before. That was like a really, really aggressive uh, interceptor. Abductor. It's called an abductor. I love the atmosphere in this game. I do too. Honestly, I love this game. Uh, it's also just very spooky. Oh, there's big, look at our mirrors. Big spooky red light in our mirrors behind us. That's always exciting. You wanna take a right at the fork in the road? Does the radio get haunted too? It can sometimes. That giant beam of light in the distance, you see that? 
that's hope. You might think that's a giant pillar of fire. Nay, it's a metaphor. Can abductors be destroyed like tourists? I have no idea. I haven't tried. I um, I kind of like that this game, you're not really trying to... It's not a shooter. You're not trying to be proactive or move any... Sorry, hold on, everybody. Lore. Lore. Oh, that wasn't really lore. They might be an idiot. Interesting. What's this? Oh. Decals. Sorry, for you Americans, decals. It's exhausting to say. I don't like that this is full. Crooked Penguin, thank you for the 30. I hope you're having an amazing day, friend. All right, it's probably time. Yeah, it's probably time for this bumper to hit the old dusty road. Now, I cannot put it in here. Wait, I can? Oh, it just turns into nothing. <laughs> All right, well, I can dispose of it, even if it doesn't necessarily recycle. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Ignition Point. Wow. All right, are you still armored? You are still armored. Okay, armored panel, armored door, off-road tire. Let's go. Love all of this. Love to hear it. Okay, we're getting some backup flares. We went through a lot of flares. We went through the spoops. A lot of flares in the spoops. Warning. Inventory full. Warning. Inventory full. We'll do a, a lore catch-up at the end of the day. Do we have an extra car sitting outside? So that is, yes, we have always had an extra car sitting outside. That is a gift that the game gives us. Nice. Perfect. Uh, and I believe they had a door for us, is that correct? We are almost 100% armored. Isn't that exciting? All right, tell me what's wrong with you. You need a ceiling kit. Gotcha. One ceiling kit coming right up. And I need a little bit of the old putty. You're excited? I'm also excited, Hosk. All right, what else needs some loving? <sighs> I'm 
ba doom boom 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 ba doo 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 did the door automatically change shape? I don't know what you're talking about. That that was the door uh, just like we drew it up. All right. I'm going to start uh, shredding steel. I'm going to keep some of the steel. The steel that's like already perfectly repaired we're going to hang on to. But pretty quick, we just want to have enough redundant uh, armored pieces that that's all we use going forward. But we're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. We're getting close. Have I tried painting the car? I have not. I will not paint the car. We talked about this at the end of the last stream. Uh, we're going to paint the car when all of the components are armored. Otherwise, it's going to look terrible. It's going to look terrible. And if there's one thing I will not tolerate, it's an ugly vehicle. So I need more unstable labelium in order to do stuff. Uh, a seat rack? I don't have anything to put there yet. Maybe there's some more storage somewhere. Hold on. Engine. Oh, right. This new engine costs like 40 bajillion thermosap. So that ain't that ain't it. Uh, jump jack. What is this? Nothing to do with aerodynamics and everything to do with brute force. The jackhammer-like power will make your car airborne. Oh, my God. I can make my... Wait, we speed racer now? Hello? Oh, that's so funny. Incredible. Uh, resource radar. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got to have those hydraulics. Yeah. Uh, the auto parker. Is your right arm getting tired? It is. <gasps> Rudimentary weight and motion sensors below the driver's seat will automatically engage and disengage the parking brake. Y'all. All right, let me get the uh, the seat rack. All right, and so, uh, we're going to put in a uh, child seat back here. Actually, it just looks like we um, put some metal on top of the upholstery. Okay. The auto parker sounds like I got trolled by the game the other day. It was it was congratulating me for trying to drive while I had left it in park this whole time. Never again. I'll never get bullied again. There it is. What does this cost me? Uh, it cost me one more gear. Otherwise, yeah, that's fine. Wait, what what does it actually look like? Weird. All right, let's see if we opened up a new route on the map where we drove to last. Okay, so this did open up that, which is kind of interesting. Um, you know what? I'm down to not go through the dark again, so I'm going to try going this way. I just I just want to see if we can never go there again. That's, that's all. <laughs> and, you know, look, it ain't much. It looks like the little bunnies actually did an okay job of repairing these side components. They were getting a little bit more beat up. So I'm excited about that. Do we still have quirks? Yep. Uh, bollards, shakers, tourists, salamanders. Abandoned squire. Good. Box truck and the ARDA investigator. That's great. Uh, there's also three hazards we've never seen before. So let's give that a try, shall we? Yeah, we have one diagnosed quirk and one undiagnosed quirk. Um, oh my, we have five quirks now?
Can I close this door? It's so loud out there. Ugh. Big stormy day. Is there a station wagon under all these gadgets? That's a big storm. That's a big spooky storm. All right, hoods up, everybody. Uh, that's our noble steed, Core Flux, and you will address them as such. You think that the more damage your car takes, the more quirks I get? We didn't really... I mean, we did come out of that one mission pretty beat up, so it's possible. I don't know. Could be lore. We'll try it. We'll try and diagnose some stuff. Heavy fog, barely plugged. Uh, is that a church? I'm kind of curious to figure out what that is. But then I just wanna I just wanna drive through. I gotta watch out for the wildlife. Oh, there's an armored vehicle up ahead. Excellent. Ooh, I got a pearl. I thought I just saw something that said sizzling mist. I did. Okay, let's get a little closer. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh my goodness, I don't have to put it in drive every time now. Wow. Amazing stuff. Wait, do you not have anything? One armored door, one armored panel. I want both of these. My car has an equal amount of both. Please? Ah, I just get the one. All right, that's fine. What do you think? I mean, I grabbed this for a reason. Let's, yeah, hold on. Let's, let's grab both. Oh, I got some thermosap. Let's go. Okay, what we're doing is we're getting some replacements so that we can start doing the uh, the free auto repair stuff, you know? You know what I'm saying? So hold on, you said something, did closing the hood do something to a door? We found a quirk. We found a quirk. All right, please remember, closing the hood opens the one of the passenger doors, all right? Nice spot. Oh, uh, we have tourists. You know what? We got tourists, and I need thermosap. It's time to be so brave, everybody. They're not really that grouped up. I'm just going to leave them. Tourist gives you thermosap? Oh god, there was one right there.
Okay, uh, there should be a crossroad up here on the left. Oh man, big fan of these uh, legally distinct mamas and papas, you know? Any mamas and the papas fans in the chat? Wait, I guess it's not really mamas and the papas anymore once the vocal starts. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, that's so bright. Hello? What was that red line we crossed? That's wildlife. You'll sometimes see uh, packs of of young little saw blades and their families running up and down the road. It's really quite cute. Now remember, they probably aren't traveling alone. So if you see one, keep your eyes peeled, right? Can I flip these, switch these? What does this do? Very interesting. In theory, those are zone stabilizers. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I care. Let's go here. So I just want to keep following this road. We'll grab uh, one orb, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, ditch this popsicle stand. You know. Die. Hello. tourist good day to you please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times we here at Jaeger Tours Industry want you to have a happy and safe time while visiting the exclusion zone Know there are many options out there, but thank you for traveling with Sir Jager Industries. The train is pulling out the station. The wind is blowing us away. Somebody stop this voice on me. God, I hate you so much. Who touched my car? Who touched my car? I'm dying? Why am I dying? Oh my god. Oh, a giant storm landed on top of us. Wow, a giant storm on top of us. And while I was outside, I took giga damage. Holy moly. All right, no go outside. Uh, what, did, what did I just hit? Why did I swerve so hard there? 
Okay, my steering is inverted. Oh, my legs are itchy. Hey, Jojo. Okay, the storm has passed. That was terrifying. Oh, hey, look, there's some sap just on the road there. I think it's safe for me to go outside. Let's do a little test. What is that grabby hand? What did that mean? What did that mean? I'm too hot to be wearing my safety hoodie right now. And my legs are itchy and I'm stressed out. All right, we're gonna have to take a break in a second here. Spooky stuff. So did that storm come out of nowhere? <laughs> did any of you see it on the radar prior to uh, death approaching? All right, give me a second. I'm... I'm... A yeah, I need to turn down the heat. I'll be right back. This, my friends, this one, my friends, is why you only play scary games in the, uh, in the winter when you can put on a safety hoodie. One sec. I'm going to crack a window for a second here. You saw nothing? Yeah, like I know grabbing the orb spawns an anomaly, but I've never seen it spawn uh, the death storm. All right. So this is kind of cool. It looks like we just get to teleport through the wall, which I kind of love. And uh, that means we've got some structures that we've never seen before and some weird things we've never seen before. So let's take a little peek ski here, shall we? Some of the storms are pretty zoomy. Okay. Water's more challenging to drive through. It makes your car more conductive, so watch out for electrical thingies. That makes sense. All right, let's... Uh, that's my last food. All right, do I have a first aid kit in the back? I think I have the big food, don't I? I do. I've got some big food. Hey, what up, Jackie? All right.
So let's see if we can... Let's stop here first. I might actually try and like full loot this map. Oops. God. Force a habit. All right, so welcome back to zone two. You can see it's dark and swampy. My favorite. Uh, there are some new things we've never identified on this map, so let's try and keep our eyes peeled. Pretty. This looks like a very similar version of the uh, the first map we saw. The first time we saw a map in this zone. Maybe that's just a little bit of unluckiness in the RNG. Nice wall. <gasps> that's new. What are you? Let me take a photo. Hello. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Let me go. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call that the Bubblegum Twins. Uh, that's also new, but I can't get to it. Call that legally distinct James Blake right there. Hey, when did I turn on my when did I turn on my headlights? I don't think I did. I think there's a quirk there. Okay, try and keep your eyes peeled for that behavior. Um, something about stopping and getting out resulted in my headlights turning on. Now, it says there's a building here. Bird! Anybody else see that weird moth? I don't know what that pile of rocks is, but I want to scan it. Writes down pile of rocks. Good. Very good. Some of these duct dust flex. Definitely, definitely look like moth or crow or something. Okay. So we got the, uh, what do we call them before? The goo twins? The bubblegum buddies. Yeah, that's a way better name. The 
bubblegum buddies. All right, I don't know if this orb is hurting me or if it made the area radioactive. I think it's the orb, actually. I think that orb is slowly killing me while I hold it, which is probably a good sign. Why don't I have gloves? Really important question. Why don't I have gloves? All right, let's get up into here and get some more looting going on. Right? Like, that's just a bad idea, not having gloves, right? Okay, at least it's not dark and foggy. Uh, this area looks a little tricky. Oh, that's a new friend. Hello. Who are you? Oh. Uh, that is tourists. I don't know why. Oh, no. All right, something weird is happening. I think it might be that orb. God, tourists! Something turn on my wipers. I don't think that was a quirk. I think that might have been. Uh, my assumption is that that was the anomaly. I need tourists. All right, any weird little red glowy orbs anywhere? Oh, there's a truck down there. There's an armored car there too. Okay, let's start by looting the house. kit. Okay, I actually want to drive, hey, a, lot, a little bit closer to the, uh, that truck. Hello. steel door. I did leave the armored car. I'm a little stressed, so that would be why. Flare, good stuff. Looking for more food. I mean, I can always just craft myself first aid kits. I should probably do that next time we're back at the base. Just have a couple of emergency first aid kits in the trunk. 
I'm like relying on myself to try and find like food. And that's probably bad. Can I not craft them at the car? Only if I have the supplies for it. All right, uh, let's get back on the road. And then let's grab that and then let's let's dip. Yeah, uh, I could coincidentally have looted the right materials for it. Uh, you know what? Hold on, let's let's peep this car real quick. First off, do I have room in the trunk? I've already got two components. I, I don't think I have the room for it. Oh, that's that's a good trunk. Ooh, four pieces though. There you go. There's a thermo sap right there. Sap. <laughs> Bonk. Just check our surroundings, make sure we're safe ish. What do you get from an off road tire when you scrap it? Rubber and scrap metal. Do I get like armored panels or anything from this when it breaks? I get steel. Oh! Thermo scrap. Wow, that's huge, actually. What's so scary about the tourists? If you don't look at them, uh, they move and get creepy up behind you and they're kind of like creepers in Minecraft and they explode. So you kind of need to be careful of uh, a couple of things. Uh, also, they just freak me out, man. I don't know. I don't know how to tell you. All right. I'm going to close the window real quick. It is, after all, still winter, so it can get chilly out there pretty quick. I got six thermosap out of that. Nice. That's big. Um, Cars complaining about the incline. That's fine. Get to the road. Hang a right. Oh, geez. Watch out for that first step there, eh? Free hugs. Wow. Lucky. Once I get 42 thermosap, I can make a new engine, which is very cool. Okay, 
We're getting a little full now, which is good. Is that another armored car? Yes, it is. Sick. How are we doing for fuel, by the way? It is. This is going to burst any second now. I don't think the off-road tires are worth scrapping. Is this a hoodie game? <laughs> yes. Nice. Uh, our destination is this yellow spot, uh, and then we Audi. I think we go back up the hill. Touch the water. Ah! What if we nope? You know, we could just leave. There's nothing saying we have to go there. I could be brave a different time. There's only so much bravery I have at this point. Hey, the bubblegum buddies are back. I'm loved and supported no matter what the game tells me. Thank you, Hosk. Hey, what's up, Circus of Kirkus? I'm just going to leave. Oh, God, a giant storm just showed up, too. Uh, we picked a good time to ditch. Oh, my God. It's here. Oh, interesting. Uh, we activated the portal, and then it banished the storm. Very interesting. Uh, Circus of Kirkus with 52 months. That's a standard deck of playing cards worth of subs. It's true. Very happy. A Bellatro sub to you? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Corflux. Thank you for the 100 biddies, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. I appreciate the support. All right, we met the the the, the bubblegum twins. We met the orb of pain, and oh no, uh, something I'm going to call Frog Dad. Ooh. Oh, the bubblegum twins grabbed the car too. That's bad. Uh, all right, I'm gonna leave, please. I was gonna try and loot that truck, but with the bubblegum buddies there, uh, no. No, thank you. Really challenging my preconceptions of the Pacific Northwest. It's way nicer than I thought, right? It's beautiful here. 
Very lucky to live in such a beautiful part of the world. All right, we got one point of stabilium and two points of instabilium. Good stuff. Thanks, Tobias. <laughs> Healing. I'm so brave. We did it. We made it through another one. All right, let's uh, feed the pearl to old Scrappy over here. What do you mean greed? I did not greed at all. I was so good. Did you see me leave instead of dying? And you dare accuse me of greed? Wow. Oh, that was back when I was going to loot the truck. I mean, we had time. And then the bubblegum twins showed up. Bubblegum buddies showed up. And then I was like, no. <laughs> we got to go. What do you got for me? Loot pinata. Ooh, a bunch of flares. Yeah, let's go. All right, right now, before I forget, I'm going to make two first aid kits. Oh, they're cheap. I'm going to make four first aid kits. And I'm going to put them right... Do they stack? Oh, they don't stack. They only stack to three. That's fine. I'm going to put them right here. Putty go there? Or does the putty go in here? Putty goes in here. Okay. Hey, what's up, MB Pro? Thank you for using your Prime here, by the way. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having an amazing day. You could do worse on duck on first aid than duct tape and fabric, you know? It's pretty close to just like what a lot of first aid is sometimes too. It's like, all right, what do you got at? What do you got available to you? Well, I've got this. Uh, I got this magazine <laughs> and some tape. You're like, great, that's a splint. <laughs> the submariner put in the detailing station. This guy can handle pressure. Okay, love it. Okay, so hit him with the juice. Hit him with the gasolina. So what I'm hoping we did is I'm hoping by taking that other route, we never have to go through the dark scary again. So let's check the map and see if that was successful. Because normally when we went this way, you can see it says dark. Hate that. So now what we've done is... Oh, buckets. 
We've opened up a new right, a new route to the right. Boo! Do I have to go through the spooky spooky again? I don't like that. Maybe we just try going to G9. <laughs> For first aid, should you empty the magazine of bullets? It's not the type of magazine I meant. It's probably the reason you need first aid in the first place. Well, that's too bad. All right, so we diagnosed a quirk before, and that quirk is when we close the trunk, the driver's side passenger, the driver's side rear door opens. All right, Chrono, thank you for 60 months of tier two support, friend. I really appreciate you. Okay, so when hood is closed, Rear left door opens. Fixes. Uh, I need one glass shard to fix this. All right, resolved. So we have three undiagnosed quirks. Uh, let's do... Let's do some exhaustive testing here. Nope, wrong button. Hey, what up, Mr. Gibberish? So now what we do... So now we see if if it's open, if it does something else, right? That one we know. That's our... We like that quirk. is moving? What do you mean? This? I've been moving that myself. Okay. So that's like most of the core things that I'm worried about. Actually, hold on. When did the left door close? Oh, okay. So this is an important thing to know. Uh, apparently, we got a booty like a Pixar mum. So when you get in and out of the car, you hit it with your butt. <laughs> like... Okay, so maybe they're not too serious. Uh, there was one we discovered earlier, which is when we had the headlights on and we turned, the headlights dimmed, which was kind of funny. 
in like a, I don't like it being dark sort of way. Uh, let's hit the old ceiling kit here. Look for things that are at 50% and repair them. That is the wrong tool. I wanted the putty. I'm looking for stuff at about the 50% point when I'm looking to repair it. Uh, actually, speaking of repairs, let's see if we can't liberate some new parts. So we are looking for one panel and one bumper. What else you got? What else you got? Check the caboose. Had one panel? Wow. Rude. Got anything for me, friendly dumpster? Any, anything else? Respectable. Yeah, very friendly garbage can, I know. I know. Okay, Liberator is fine. Um, I do have a new thing that needs to be puttied, which is the U. So the car is... Any other yellow components? Uh, these are technically yellow. Okay. If it's yellow, I like to repair it. So the bumper is yellow. I'd like to replace it with an armored bumper, though. <laughs> Quirks, yes. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can't learn how to make an armored bumper, you know? Armored bumper costs us a fair amount. Whatever. It's the part that we need. Now, how much does it cost to craft is the real question. Cost five thermosap? Oh, but I need that for my engine. Whatever. <clears throat> We're starting to get it more reliably now. So let's let's do that. Hey, happy pants. Thank you so much for the five bomb, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. Ooh, y'all. Look at that! You got a tax refund? Let's go. Did I tell all of you about... I, I mentioned it briefly, but I don't know if I've retold this tale. Have I told the tale of like how amazing my new accountant is? Because, oh my God. So last year, we're, we're not super happy with our previous accountant. Last year, um, our taxes were bad. And we got like overcharged for something. And then when we went to our accountant and asked him to fix it, he was like, well, you'll probably get audited and it's not worth your time to try and fight that. So just, just take the L. And that felt really, 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 really bad. So we're like, okay, we're going to switch accountants this year. So we did. 
Uh, but I think like in total last year, <clears throat> we had to pay something like between, I can't remember the exact amount, like between seven and $9,000 in taxes owing, because again, most of the income that we make is untaxed, right? Um, so that, it always stings. Uh, and this year, this year, our new accountant, we are owing like $1,600. So I just get to keep like $5,000. It's huge. That's like a, an unbelievable, unbelievable amount of money. It's a good bumper upgrade. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Yeah. No. I, so look, like moving is expensive. This whole year has been tremendously expensive. Um, and then suddenly finding out that I just don't owe the government <laughs> like, like five grand is so comforting. So comforting. I'm a little bit concerned. I am going to call the accountant just to double check and be like, hey, but my, our new accountant, she's got 35 years of experience and she used to work for the Canadian tax company, uh, the CRA. So like, I feel pretty confident in her ability Right? Just like, I think she'd know what to look for and what we can keep. It's very, very, very comforting. But also infuriating in just how bad the previous accountant was. So, uh, yeah. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, Joe kept telling me, she's like, I think our accountant's garbage. And I was like, ah. Look, they've worked with my dad for a while. Like, it's probably okay. And then my dad was like, he's got to go. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to, I don't want to. Yeah, we're not going to smear this random person. Everything is fine. All right. So I promised that once we upgraded every single panel to armored, we'd look into, uh, you know, a new paint job here. So. What can we do? What can we do here? So one of the things I absolutely want to do is we're going to hit it with the shark teeth decal. We have to. Uh, but we also need to paint it a color. So I've got, uh, we got crimson. Everybody knows if you paint a car red, it goes faster. That's, that's just law. No, no, the whole family switched over to the new accountant. It's not just me, don't worry. So uh, cars that are painted red go faster. Um, I also have, what other colors? We have a lot of whatever this is. That's a lot of gray. Warning, do not drink. Avoid contact with skin, eyes, and mucous membranes. Interesting. I don't really have a green. Wait, that's paint stripper? Oh. I wonder if I have to use that first. Oh. Oh, so you use two paints. One removes... Okay, never mind. Okay, let's remove everything here so we get a nice base coat, right? I don't even know if I need to do this. I probably don't, but let's just have fun here, all right? Could we wood panel the car? We could. We could. But our noble steed? No, it's got to go fast. All right, we're going to go red, and then we're going to hit it with a decal. All right? So spray paint it red first. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at that red. Let's go. Yeah, the, the default black color looks pretty good. Do I have an even faster red? No, no, no. This is as fast as it gets. All right. Now, I'm firmly on the team that decals, like the shark teeth decals, just go on these front panels. All right. So, it's cool to know that um, one can 
can do the whole car. What, what about the roof? Oh, the chassis. Oh. Okay, good. Now that's a fast looking car. Oh, I can't really see it. Yes. Oh, yes. Hold on. Does it continue further back? <laughs> I didn't want to put it everywhere, but it's so cool I kind of had to. What happens on the hood of the car? Yo. Yeah, this gets a little busy, I'm going to be honest, but let's let's do a little science here. The rabbit season kind of cracks me up. This one's a little busy, so I'm going to grab the remover here, and we're going to remove that. And if it strips it all the way down, that's fine. Okay, I do have to repaint. That's fine. So I think I only want one rabbit season. I think rabbit season on this side, like we were, uh, like they, they put on the side of a, I mean, the whole, the whole motif of this is, of course, like uh, old school uh, dog fighting planes, right? Oh my, look at our noble steed. Oh, I love them. All right, how much faster do you think this car drives now? 30%, 40% faster? Four hundred percent? That's just science there. What about the rims and the tires? That's an interesting question. Let's find out. No. No. Trying to see if there's anything else down there I can hit, but I cannot. Okay. Y'all. <laughs> All right, pardon me for one sec. Quick bio break. You can just admire our noble steed and I'll be right back.
Hello, friends. We're back. All right, I have a very important question. Let's chart a route. Let's chart a route for this road trip here, right? And I need to go to the green arrow. <clears throat> I can take the known path, right? Um, but it involves going through the darkness, which I hate. So we go one, two, three, dang near four stops to get there. Or we could try and forge a new path. We can go to G9 and then see if G9 unlocks this location and then see if that location gets us and it gets us a new route that doesn't go through the dark. What do you think? Do we take the known path to advance the MSQ that involves the scary area or a new path? DK wants to go a new path. And I, for one, want to agree with DK. Trailblaze? They don't call me Trailblazer Jaeger for nothing. All right, we're going to Trailblaze. Wait, why can't I? Hello? Um, why can't I click on G9? I can click here. And I can click there. But I can't go there. You can only select the white zone first and then it'll open up into that one. That's weird. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, there's one thing here that we haven't recognized. Ah, it's got tourists. You want to go to the Scaria? But I don't like the Scaria. All right. Real quick. Let's check our tools. Do we have a backup? We sure do. Let's actually put the 100% durability one in here. We've got a liberator. We've got a crowbar. <clears throat> we got our hoodie. A new addition. We've got first aid kits. And we got putty. All right. Now, friends, reminder. We've got three unrecognized perks. So if you notice anything, shout it out. Hold on, let's try <clears throat> just a little bit of driving here. you want with this route? None. I'll ask. But thank you. We're trailblazing. Yeah, the point of exploration is to uh, explore. But thank you. Work when you enter the car, it shifts into drive at its own. That's a feature. <laughs> I mean, it looks to me like we can just drive through here. There's lore there. I don't think I much care. That is a lot of tourists. So the main thing we want to stop for if we're driving around is uh, more armored cars, more tourists. I mean, no, tourists are pretty slow for farming the, uh, the sap.
Keep your eyes on the road, chat. Eyes on the road. That's a good bridge. Excellent bridge. Road was right there. You watched it while I drove off it. Good job. Good job, Dread Pirate Wesley, for keeping your eyes on the road. I'm proud of you. Man, we are zooming. Uh, don't like that. And then also there's some weird kind of hot air balloon looking thing up ahead. What do you think that is? Oh! Is that a feature I never noticed before? Yeah, I never actually scanned the checkpoint. Once upon a time, zone travel was heavily monitored. As instances of instability and unpredictable weather increased, regular choke points were installed. Checkpoints were installed not only for security, but to track the movement to ensure employees were journeying safely through the region. They allowed ARDA to monitor each vehicle and send out search teams to find any that had not recently checked in. Unstable regions could even be closed off and safe routes opened in response to the ever chasing hazards. Trespassing may have been one kind of problem, but in an increasingly unpredictable corner of the world that was soon eclipsed by lost or missing colleagues and equipment. Interesting. These days, the few remaining zone inhabitants use the still-functioning, still-reliable access markers to determine which roads are stable enough to travel on. Cool. You ever notice, up until now, I've never put on my seatbelt? That's not good. All right. Yes, I can go to G9 from here. Excellent. We have a shark car. Oh, yeah. Our noble steed looks sweet. And it goes faster now, too. Oh, thank you for pronouncing it Deckel, Hosk. I appreciate it. Now, I just need you to start adding the Canadian use to all of your words as well, please. I'll slowly teach all of you the proper way. All right. So, where does that take us? I should, in theory, leave this map. It looks like there's some good loot in here, though. So, let's go here first and get a little loot in. I mean, then again, I don't really care about looting other than armored cars. Like, what does houses get me? You know what? No. Let's follow the road. Just follow the main road. Wow, that's a big windy. That's a big windy. Oh. Kick it. Woo! Did everything start green and then turn red? That's just how the zone thingy works. That was a big lightning strike. All right, we will stop at this truck. Trucks are worth looting. Do I take damage for being outside in the storm? No, it's just rain. Okay.
Inventory full. That freaked me out for a second. Good. There is no reason not to fill up while we're here. Hey, an armored car as well? Let's go. You know what? What do you think? Uh, scrap or liberate? I don't have a lot of extra armored pieces, but we could always liberate back home, too. Scrapping is way easier storage-wise, for sure. Oh, workbench! Oh, that's kind of cool. How many quirks did we solve? We solved one of our, car our quirks, and that was when we close the trunk, a door opens. It was something like that. Oh, fridge has got good stuff. Wait, was that already 10 food? Let's go. All right, we're getting supplies now. Good. Didn't get any of the good stuff. There it is. One. You know what? If I get 50 50 out of that, that's not too bad. Oh, if you spot a quirk, let me know. Interesting. Even when I manually put it into park myself, <clears throat> the car automatically solves it for us. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, we're going to take... Let's take the main road. Let's take the main road here. I think there might be a chance for more armored squires to be on the main road than the dirt road. I don't know if that's true or not, but I have an option to go left or right, and I'm going to go left. As is, uh, as is tradition. I do wonder if my turning is off. Because it feels a little clunky, but maybe that's just how the game handles. This is what happens if you play in a driving simulator with a mouse and keyboard. Send it! seem like a cool one like when <laughs> radio turns on when accelerating somebody mentioned that anytime they drove downhill the hood of their car opened that one seems really bad i got medium fried dang it it's okay i do have the ability to when i get electrocuted to charge oh the storm is passing oh it's so pretty Oh, I was going to say, is my car being electrocuted? But no. 
That is being electrocuted. Oh, there's an ARDA truck up there. Nice. Be really tempted to put on the Mario Kart music while playing this game. Wait, that's not the Mario Kart music at all. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Can you uh, hum a few bars for me, chat? <laughs> You know something I could use a couple extra of is light bulbs. All right, let's use the old light bulb extractor. NFL themes. Ba 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 ba. Oh, hello. Hate that for me. Maybe we we'll wait for that storm to pass and we go back and we grab whatever that is. I just have to drive to the very top of this mountain somehow. Maybe we don't drive. Maybe we go on foot for that. Hey, what's up, Pink Floyd? Yes? Thank you so much for 51 months. Beep bop the button. My favorite. All right, which way is that storm heading? Not towards us. All right. Hello out there. We're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. I should actually don't know if I know all the lyrics to that song anymore. Wait, that was more questions than answers. Hold on. How are we doing for fuel? Now we don't need to top up. Turner is always up to no good. No kidding. No kidding. I'll avoid that one this time. Hey, we did better. Barely touched by the zappity that time. Where am I? I'm in a farm. Smash the state. Wait. 
Where does this road go? Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a science building. That's fine. I wonder if OP knows anything about this Ophelia character, right? Great question. I don't know. We should ask her. Probably no relation. Hello, Rock. Oh, I don't have a kit. Maybe I should start making some of those to carry with me. Doesn't happen very often. Oh, our car looks so cool. Let's go, Noble Steed. We ride. Punch the rock? What did it do to you? Wow. What do you think this is Minecraft? Ah, buckets. So sometimes if you hit the purple cork, what it does is it fries all of your electrical components. Your radio turns on, your horn starts honking, your windshield wipers. car or am I still just getting fried from that electrical affair do I have to leave this map it looks like I can't actually warp out of here so I should go that way huh it looks like there's a wall coming in which is bad. Because I picked up the yellow goo and now I don't have the ability to teleport out. So therefore, something else is going wrong here. Either I don't have enough juice Or, oh crap, well. That's what I'm talking about there. You hit that purple thing. Kind of fries everything. God. They're looking for our next right.
Man, this is definitely relatable if you're driving through the Rocky Mountains. The true road trip experience. Ugh. Okay, so we made it to G9. And for some reason, I cannot teleport. Dead end, do not enter. Oh, dead end, do not enter. Okay. That's fine. I won't enter the dead end then. Neat. Do it? No, it says don't enter. <laughs> Joe from the other room, don't do it. Sorry, DK, I'm going to listen to Joe here. I don't think you've got my best interest in mind, in heart. Let's, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just keep scooting. It lies. You're telling me that Joe lies too? Joe is wise? Thank you, Molly. Sometimes I feel like chat doesn't always have my best interest in mind. This game is spoopy and I'm already being very brave. No troll. Oh, my least favorite. Lightning tourists? Oh, hood time, everybody. All right, everybody, put your hoods up. It's a good thing this looks like a short level. Wait. Uh oh, the road I want to go is under the bridge. Under the bridge downtown is where I should have turned left. Look at them. Look at them. Because if you don't look at them, they teleport. Ah, the lightning tourists, y'all. The lightning tourists. There's more. They dare zappity my car. stop sign look if we don't obey the laws who will today's flan is very brave thank you flan thank you All right, I got bad news. I got really just awful, terrible news. We've gone into the dark spot. Oh, this is just absolute buckets. Was there nothing to be done there? We could have stopped and grabbed a little bit of loot, but for the most part, um, we're just now heading in the direction of the the green quest because the other route resulted in a dead end. Ah, we're in the dark spot, stupid dark spot. Eerie conditions, something is moving?
Oh my god. And there's tourists. Okay, I'm not stopping for this. Oh, yes I am. I'm brave. Yes I am. I'm brave. So brave. I'm 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 so brave. Try and avoid this junction whenever possible. I did too! More tourists. Okay. Um. Okay. left here. All right. Uh, just a little spoop warning. I might get spooked here. Just, just a heads up. I'm being extremely brave right now. I really hope we don't ever see the, the something is moving thing. That's, that's all I ask. It can exist separately from us. Oh, there was a tourist in the road. Turn the radio on. Sometimes you just need to focus. Sometimes you just need to focus. And I need to focus. Wow, what is the grade of this hill? Holy moly. Will I be wearing a safety hoodie on my drive? Almost certainly. No. No, 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 no. Not like this. Oh, no. Oh, no. teleported my car on top of another tourist, eh? Oh, we hit that thing, lost control, went over a barrier, and then parked in front of a bunch of tourists? Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere, 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 and I hate them. Where'd the road go? Okay. You know what? Not even worry about what that red light is. Probably nothing. Nope. Ah, in the middle of the road. Eyes on the road, Jaeger. Eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. God, there's so many tourists. My car is pulling to the right. Oh, crap.
this game is so good, and I am so tense right now. Maybe if we go fast, I'll feel better. Hello, Chris the Brit. Look, I don't want to criticize you, Chris the Brit, but you call yourself a Brit, yet you say hello in French. I'm confused. Oh my god, the stupid... That dangled and I thought it was something moving. Okay, uh, note to self, air freshener is evil. Got it. Oh, they're from Brittany, France. That makes sense. Okay, we made it out and we didn't die. Oh, man. Goodbye forever spooky region. Now, I can't help but notice we're going into an area of extremely high instability. The air freshener is tree-shaped. That's fair. Can we talk about for a second how brave I just was? Thank you, Joe. Oh, crap. I just hit play. There is no pause. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do a pause here, y'all. We're gonna do a pause. We're gonna pause, and we're gonna have lunch, and we're gonna talk about life, the universe, and everything. I need a breather after that one. All right. You felt very lonely playing this game. I'm very lucky. Wait, I think the game is paused. Yes. Okay. Pause is here. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. How do you do? How's my hair? How's the hood hair? It's holding up fine. All right, here's the plan. If you're new, we're going to chill. We're going to chat. I've got this delicious bowl of uh, bravery mac and cheesy and apparently some green beans. Thank you, sweetie. And we're going to eat it and we're going to hang out and we're all going to have a good time. And then we'll get back to the video games. Hi. How are you? How's the day going? This is such a good game. Let's put on some chill music to have lunch to. You deserve a bravery cupcake. You hear that, Joe? Do you have any cupcakes? Joe says we don't have any cupcakes, but that is exciting. <laughs> Moving in four days, yes. I'm uh, very excited. I get to move back to Vancouver Island in four days. Mm. Move house? Sure. Uh, the long story, if you're new, the long story is um, I'm from Victoria. We went to move into a new place. Place needed to be renovated. Then uh, asbestos was discovered. Uh, and then asbestos remediation took seven and a half months. Uh, and now it's over and I get to move back. Hi. Has it really been seven and a half months since I've moved away? Uh, I believe, I'd have to check my calendar to be exact, but I believe my move away date was September 18th. September, 
October, November, December, January, February, March. And uh, our move-in date is the 29th. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a very, very, very long time. No way that much time has passed. I don't know what to tell you. Time is a lie. It, <laughs> yeah. Do I get to take the jersey back? No, unfortunately, my dad is probably not going to be down with me stealing his uh, autographed Wayne Gretzky hockey jersey. Pretty rude, I know. But I do get to hang up my magic sheet again. So, you know. You win some, you lose some. Does this couch go? No. No, no furniture. It's a perfect emote shape, that jersey. Maybe we just get a Gretzky jersey <laughs> to remind us of our time spent in Alberta. I like it. Parents are so rude about keeping their stuff. I know, right? What if I just got Gretzky to sign my magic sheet? Now we're talking. I'm actually kind of excited to build a new studio for the new place, right? What's it going to look like? Could I add some weird quirks? What if I turn into one of those streamers that has just like a separate camera that we cut away to just for reaction shots? Ah, uh, it could happen. Hold on. Let's make a goof camera right now. Right now. How do I do that? I copy a scene. And then I paste a scene. And then we call surge cam number two. Uh, we're going to call this uh, reaction cam. And then for, wait, it renamed both of those. Nope. All right, hold on, hold on. Rename Surge Cam. Okay, good. Remove the duplicate. Add a new scene. We call it Reaction Cam. And then for Reaction Cam, we zoom way in. Wait, did it do it for both again? I don't know how to do this. You want to see the jersey's reaction? Okay. I don't actually... Turns out I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, I give up. Good goof, everybody. Good goof. Just give Joe a camera and she runs in and she's like, whoa. <laughs> the Jersey reaction be great too. Yeah, let's chicken with Jersey. How's it going? And it cuts over and you're like, wow. <laughs> oh, that's such a good emote, Molly. Uh, gold star of gameplay. Wow. Mm, mm. Hold on. Arc lights on to something here. Now, this is a joke we need. All right, hold on. So we do this, right? And then we we do in white, we rewrite um, um, quality 
joke. Right? Then we save this image. Joke. Right? Then we'll walk you through all the steps here. We'll walk you through all the steps. Then we bring up OBS and then we add a new image. Right? Uh, and this is the joke image. And then we find the file, which is on our desktop. Bam! Oh, no, we have to... Hold on. Uh, there. And then I say, like, Hey, do you, do you see that sky today? Talk about blue. Ha 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 ha! You like it? Good joke, streamer. Oh, that's about as much comedy as I can handle over the lunch break. Turns out OBS goofs actually require an amount of setup. Which, like, even more credit to the streamers who pull that stuff off, you know? Smash cuts of the joke screen. Yeah. Boy, I sure am tired from being funny. Oh, I lost the button. <laughs> oh, it was on this scene. Sure, I'm tired from being funny. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Whoa, what is that emote? I am really funny. Delightful. Hadouken. All right. Uh, thus concludes lunch. Back to the video game. Hoodie engaged. Good stuff. All right, I am here. So let's stop there and grab an orb. Oh no, something is moving here too? I hate that for me. Good job sticking the landing car. Explode now. I missed. Just make sure there's nothing coming behind us. Weird frog noise is coming from our right, and I don't like that. Firefly. 
Neon Reef. It says it's a resource. My God. Oh, they surrounded me when I wasn't looking and I tried to be so careful. Oh, I hate that. Did you see that time when I I turned around and it was right behind me? Why were they right behind me? That's not where they go. Hi, Atarka. Atarka, I'm being so brave right now, Atarka. Unreal how brave I am. Just ran one over. Okay, we're safe. <clears throat> now, does this also say dead end? No, it doesn't. All right, what are we what are we facing here? Do I what I want to know about the moving condition? No, thank you. So brave, thank you.
After this game, you've kind of changed your mind about the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, why am I in such a hurry to get back here? Are you ready, driver? Okay, first off, I've loaded up three locations on your ARC device map. You see them? Hey, head to whichever strikes your fancy. You, you're sending them to the missions? Sure am. We're going to use this. My optical map. <laughs> We oh, it's that. pouring. Why not? I mean, it's, it's been decades. It's, no way that thing is in any sort of working shape. I've been fixing up in secret, and I'm sorry. Don't be mad. It's going to be a surprise for your birthday. <laughs> oh, I've gone ahead and made an itty bitty modification to your headset, driver. I've hooked up the basilizer here to modulate your scan function. Think of it like a. Uh, or like an extra layer of mayonnaise on your technology sandwich. <laughs> what if I don't want mayo? Oh, is this the safe dome? Oh, y'all, we found a safe dome. No spoilers. We have to tell the story from the beginning. Alright, it's going to repair our car. This is huge. Divisions. That's a good get. Okay, that that is the game rewarding us for being brave, chat. That's the game rewarding us for being brave. Which I say, thank you. Is there no gas pump here? Just battery? Oh. Full service stop. I thought the full service stop also involved gasolina. We don't all have it. Interesting. You know what? Let's um, grab our jerry can here. This is an electric car. This would be full service. That's that's fair. I didn't think about that. You're right. That's that's on me. All right. How are we doing here? Battery is charged. Everything's repaired. Let's go. That's big. Surrounded. We got surrounded, y'all. The bubble, the bubble gum buds are back. I know I left my door open. needed to get away from that before it exploded. And I managed to scan that thing. Here he comes in, Francis. <gasps> you tell him. Oh, it's, it's, look at me babbling away. Francis, uh, you, you exploit it. it. It's so good. No, it's just... Uh, I'd rather not. Come on, we talked about this. You should be proud of your word. Toot your own horn. <clears throat> I, 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 not this time. Okay. Well, uh, Francis' theory... His entire branch of research was that the zone exhibits a property seen nowhere else on Earth. <clears throat> Every phenomenon that occurs here leaves its fingerprint forever on the physical space. So he created this device to pick up on these uh, sub-physical after effects. How did you explain it? Uh, it was like identifying a whale's favorite color using only the wake it leaves behind. Uh, the rest was science mumbo-jumbo. It's a form of electromagnetic imprint. Anyway... It was a long time ago. <laughs> and what a better time than now to try it again. 
No, bubblegum buddy. Rude. Wow, it is pouring right now. Hey, this, the rain stopped. You know what? I'm not going to complain. Uh, let's just check for safety danger first. Okay. Just top up our health before we get going. Uh, let's grab some extra flares as well. <clears throat> you know, just in case. Okay, so I need to go up. I feel like I'm not in the right place. Scan the Sasquatch. Oh, I need to scan the mural. Maybe pouring now? Stability messing with the paint over time? It's been decades after that one's in water, which uh, is bad. Something's something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Please investigate. Okay, I'm glad it stopped raining. Uh that makes this at least 30% less scary. Turns out rain is scary. Beware the doorway. Oh, sure. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. Francis, you explain it. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame, out in the wilderness with nothing around it. If you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. I don't want to talk about it. He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens. And everything near it is turned inside out. Yep, hate that. Bears, squirrels, and birds, they all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's not fun to see. Nope. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning. Ooh. And then... No, 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 we're done here. Drive it. You see when you stay away from it, that's all you need to know. Let's go. <clears throat> Do a quick scan. Do a quick scan. Safe.
What do you mean, danger? What do you mean, what do you mean, danger? This car was in actually really good shape. Is that my health slowly dropping down? Yep. Yeah, it turns out uh, that the air is toxic. Oh, I miss my Subaru. I drove a Subaru for years. Ow. You know, I drove a Subaru Impreza hatchback. That was my that was my ride. That was my noble steed. Before I started drinking, drinking. Why did I say drinking? Before I started driving a uh, a Volvo. Uh, my tire is having some issues here. Ceiling kit. <clears throat> I scanned. I scanned and I scanned and I looked. Okay, so I need to drive through the water here. Hey! Yo, that was sick. Let's go. I'm just gonna skip that red thing. It's surrounded by friends. That's a worm with a mustache. Ah, Bigfoot mural. <laughs> My personal favorite. Oh, did, you, did you see that, Francis? Oh, boy, oh, boy. Francis, look, look, look. Uh, look here. It's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. Uh, it's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Oh, Francis, you flippin' genius! It absolutely is! Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there, is, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes! Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... See, Francis? I told you your basilizer would work! I... I I don't think this is the battle. Do you think I grab the goo or do you think we make a run for it? <clears throat> it's drove. Uh, you know what? They're all dead. It's fine. They just keep spawning. Why do they keep spawning? They're not allowed to keep spawning. That's illegal. It is illegal for them to keep spawning. Uh, I make the law and I decree that is illegal. <clears throat> it's illegal. It's another armored vehicle. I can't. I'm too stressed out.
plot and move. <clears throat> Which way do I want to go here? Do I want to go right across this bridge? Okay, we are going to loot this. This is a good one. And it's on a bridge. On a bridge means we're safe. You can only approach from one direction. We're going to steal its gasoline. gasoline out. I'm going to be a little bit braver. I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm also going to siphon out of this tank. And this tank. Oh, that's a lot of gas. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> All right, good stuff. This is my first time watching the game. What is the story here? Uh, well, we don't know. We're kind of learning it as we go. Um, give me one second. I'll give you like a full rundown once we get back to the base base. But the, the TLDR is uh, sometime in the 1950s in the Pacific Northwest, they started researching some kind of weird forbidden technology. Uh, and then things went kind of pear-shaped and it all vanished. So what we know so far is uh, the technology is called LIM. Uh, there's a company called the ARDA that was kind of responsible for technology. Uh, one of the presidents was involved. And basically time... And everything functions differently inside of the zone. Uh, people vanish. Um, weird sort of anomalies pop up in the zone and stuff like that. But what we don't know is why we're here. Uh, who are we in this? And so a lot of the, the story is taught to us through the narration of uh, three survivors in this area. Uh, one is OP, who probably has no relation to the famous Dr. Ophelia. Um, and then there is, uh, what, what are the, what, what's Dumb and Dumber's name? Who are they? Tobias and Francis. Yeah. So OP, Ophi, OP, uh, is like very, very, very serious. Uh, and these two have, um, Probably just through isolation and stuff like that. Probably lost a couple of their marbles. The great pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> Believe me, it's true. I'm I just had another flat. <laughs> Bingo! See that pattern in the last mural? And that flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. And then put the three locations together, and, and you've got a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Alfie. You can stop pretending to ignore us now. Take a look now. at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He still doesn't know, Francis. You know what? Uh, me. 
Not my story to share. That's me. We still don't know a very important detail. Okay, I need to... I don't want to off-road the whole way there. Off-roading is how we die. And that is a big my hill. <clears throat> what just... No! 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 The bubblegum buddies grabbed us again. Oh, he forged the data. Just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Ara found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait. You told me you changed the ads voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I... I couldn't face you. <laughs> Okay, it stopped. It interrupted the lore. My lore! Interesting thing about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the Otter database, and what turns up? But access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961, in the lab accident. So we were told. Then. I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. Years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. Driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. Hmm. Huh. Ah. Terrifying. All right, I was kind of in a hurry to get out of there. Um, so what what lore do you think that would be? Like, is it quest lore? No, that's user manual, resources, anomalies, conditions, crafting, satire, auto shop, detailing. It's not records because records are the ones that we find ourselves. The painter. No. It's not the Sasquatch. It's not the Helmsman. Oh, Francis's shame. Here we go. My theory and that basilizer, they're um, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding was running out. So I forged the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Arda found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait. You told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen? I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common thread with some of the remnant stories, like the telephone switchboard, the ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants accessed those imprints, read them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You... you don't have to do that. 
It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. Okay, we only missed like a sentence. Neat. Neat! Okay. Okay, I need... Uh, that's a mechanics kit. I need to put three um, flat tire kits back in here. So, uh, to give sort of a rundown for people who are just joining right now, this is apparently um, the wall was made in different stages throughout different periods of time, much like Attack on Titan. There's an outer wall, there's a medium wall, and then there's an inner wall. And inside, this is where all the royalty live or whatever. So, another way to think about this is this is Act 1, this is Act 2, and presumably this is Act 3. Uh, we got to the beginning of Act 2 at the end of last stream, and we're kind of messing around inside of Act 2 right now. Oh, hey, look at that. Wouldn't you know it? Uh, some of the roads that we were doing before actually are leading us in the direction of where we have to go now. So that's exciting. So, uh, good. Go us. Yeah. Uh, this is a survival crafting game. So uh, the point of this game is we drive out, we collect materials, we collect resources, right? This is all loot and stuff. And we use it to upgrade our noble steed. Isn't this, doesn't it look sweet? Uh, so this is tier three armor right now. It goes um, scrappy, steel, and then armored. And presumably there's stuff beyond that. But uh, this is our, our armored steed. Its name is the noble steed. Uh, its title is the noble steed. Sick car, thank you. I need four ceiling kits. How did you know you're gonna ask its name? Because you're a car person, Atarka. <laughs> of course you're gonna ask its name. Who do you think I am? Somebody who doesn't know who you think you are? Wait. Uh, headlight condition, bad. Worn out. Fix none. Well, goodbye. I wonder if I can get a better headlight. Reinforced headlights. I need cruptimium. Okay. Insulated headlights. Sometimes you see a cute little Faraday cape for your headlight. Augmented with some limb-assisted plasma dispersal. Keep them beams blasting. Okay. Oh, I need an advanced workbench first. Uh, can I do that yet? I can. Let's go. All right, Surge's one-stop upgradium. Hold on. There we go. Check this out. I did this. Ooh, this is a big tier. This is a big milestone. All right. Wait, the junction restabilizer. Those look like dice in the mirror. Sick. All right. I was looking into headlight technology. Bio headlight, side floodlight. No, no, no. Let's grab this insulated headlight. Does it look the same? I uh, it's totally different. <laughs> totally different. Does the license plate say fresh? What does our license plate say? Let's go find out. Oh, also, does this head, like, look cute is a very important question. I'm going to make another one. No, somebody put a weird little cage in front of it. It looks, it looks like, you know what it looks like? It looks like Raider armor from Fallout is what it looks like, right? 
This is the Raider armor version of a headlight. <laughs> I don't know what a Faraday cage is. That's a Borderlands headlight? Yeah. Well, you look at that. The condition of our vehicle is actually pretty good. So that's good. You know what it is? Very good, Atarka. Oh, <laughs> Actually, I like the idea better of like asking the question and being like, hey, Atarka, nobody likes a show off. Okay. <laughs> I almost have too much paint. Faraday did a lot of early electrical research. His cage was the thing that kept him safe from his subject. Oh, interesting. The case of a microwave oven is also a Faraday cage. That's all very cool. All right, electronics. Let's take a look at some other potential upgrades. Important question. How far off are we from an engine upgrade? Uh, we still require, hey, we're down to only needing 17 more thermosap. That's kind of cool. I would love that, Joe. So I could rip these components off or I can grind them down for the, the special, God, that's a lot of stuff, the, the special goo. Let's just get the goo. What's that, sweetie? No, I turned it down, sweetie. I was so warm. I actually had to crack the window. I was so warm and so stressed. Joe's complaining that uh, the heat was super low. <laughs> oh, she's freezing. Joe, turn the heat up, my love. I'm so sorry. I made Joe cold. I'm unforgivable. I'm a monster. Don't look at me. How much goo did we get? Three goo. Would you look at that? We only need 14 more goo. What is this? Tree candy. Wow. Tree candy. Delicious and nutritious tree candy. You need a less warm safety hoodie. The, the important part of a safety hoodie is feeling safe and wrapped up inside of it, okay? It's not a safety hoodie if it's not cozy. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules, except I do. This is a safety hoodie. Okay, uh, what else can we upgrade here? That requires corruptimium. Uh, rapid refill pump, fuel your vehicle faster than a standard, standard pump. Um, parts locker. Oh, store a part per locker in this grid to make tripping over discarded bumpers and subbing your toe a thing of the past. I need a new storage locker. Yes. You can see I'm starting to get full of storage here. Expanded locker. Okay, great. Okay. It's still fine. What if I made a rule that says I don't make the rules? It's a good idea. Wait, all terrain tire. I need to research carbon fiberglass. Carbon fiberglass. Okay. I need to be brave. Next time, next time we're out, I need to be brave and I need to spend a little bit more time in the, in the unstable Ilium area. Yeah, we'll check the bin again. It gave us a first aid kit. Ooh, repair putty. Ooh, repair putty. 
I am brave. Thank you for lying to me. Okay, how much repair putty do I have? Five? That's pretty good. Okay, we got the three first aid kits. That's great. Uh, I've got food on me. Also great. Let's put the rest of this food away. Put this here. Alright, what else can we upgrade? I love that this this is just all more storage space. It's like they know. <laughs> Thermal blowtorch. A powerful a considerably more powerful iteration of the hand vac. This applies highly focused energy to produce an even more emphatic and efficient result while also casting light into the dirtiest, darkest corner. Keep away from face. Oh, interesting. That's what the blowtorch does. Wait, no, it's a thermal vacuum. Never mind. <clears throat> Surge loves his storage space. I got to hoard stuff. All right. We need even better tires. Look at that. Off-road rating A, A, A. Wait. Ooh. Wait, this off-road's even better. The road rating is worse. I don't think this is... You know what? I don't think this is a better tire. I'm going to say it right now. Puncture-proof tire. Terrible in the water. Hmm. And we got the power grip. I don't know if I'm ever going to change tires. All right. Can I find any more storage? Car storage. Uh, there's the XL roof storage. I don't have enough unstable lium for that. And okay. All right. I need to be brave. I need to be so brave, and I need to get us more unstable energy. Um, not being brave is costing us. Hate that for me. Okay, let's go back to this. Anything else I can make over here? Uh, athletic simulation station. It's such a generously sized target. How difficult could it be to score a few points? What does this mean? I'm guessing it's an office uh, basketball garbage can. Very curious. Heck yeah. Do I get a ball? Yes. Oh my God. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, confetti. Wow. Game is perfect. Wait, I can get a fish tank? Amazing. Okay. I need... Yeah. I need all the weird goo, is what I need. So, real quick. Any new perks? No. Just the three that we haven't seen. <laughs> Touchdown! Uh, I see you're also a fan of sports. So the good news is, I've already been trailblazing a little bit towards this. Look at that! It's only one stop to get in there. That's amazing. So we want to spend some time in here. We want to grab as much of the unstabilium as we can. Uh, let's take a look at what we should expect there. Unstable anchor. The shaggy abductors. No... Oh my goodness, amazing. Uh, there are no tourists. I'm so happy about that. The water is poison, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, there's Neon Reef. 
Salamander Grotto box truck. Okay. I'm going to bring another hand vacuum and I'm going to grab all of that stuff if possible. How are you doing there? Oh, your durability is actually kind of mega. I've been carrying a blowtorch with me this whole time. I'll find something. The game will tell me. Wait, what is the Salamander Grotto? Oh, it's a weird car thing. <clears throat> It's almost like frog spawn. The thing is, I don't see any signs of it growing or changing. I've now discovered a dozen such collections of these egg-like things, and sure, they must be organic. But I have little more to go on than that. Do they function like eggs and provide incubation and safety? How are they sustained? And if all or even some of it is the case, what is growing in there? Growing or waiting? They are curiously warm in a fashion quite unlike anything else I've ever come across. It's almost calming. I see nothing tending to these, nor any evidence of what might have first deposited them. The only conclusion I can find is that these gigantic glowing orbs are usually nearby. And what little wildlife I can still recognize around here steer clears as well. Steers clear as well. Interesting. Uh, terrifying. Okay, where is my tools? Anomalies. Conditions. Something is moving. This part of the zone definitely seems to have something creepy out there amongst the trees. <sighs> Love that for me. Is it Twitch chat? Are you hiding in the in the uh, the corner? Oh, they're actually called bubblegum buddies. I thought that's just what we called them. I won't do. Oh, can I upgrade my backpack? Now we're talking. So previously, where was that? That was there. Outfitting station. Uh, the outfitting station is here. Oh, I can upgrade me. Large backpack. Swamp coral. I need 200 swamp coral. Neat. Lead apron. Grounded sweater. Makes me less likely to get electrocuted to death. Oh my god. Marsh eggs. Grippy gloves. Never have an item stolen from your grasp ever again. Oh. Blocks theft. Anti-theft backpack. Hello? Tree candy. Okay. Okay, I need to start farming more plasma. I was pretty plasma, plasma rich for a while. Okay, hold on. Um, what is... What was this one? Stiff shirt. If you want some protection from the zones, many piercing damages. Now, can I only wear one or can I wear all of them? Like, I don't even see me. I, I just take it. I'm just wearing it and that's good. They are incremental upgrades. Okay. Uh, I want to make two carbon fiberglass. Wearing it all sounds very warm. Or warm or cozy. Oh, carbon fiberglass costs tree candy. Interesting. 
Well, so much for that. Okay. We'll need to find a source of tree candy. Well, well, well. This is great news. All right. We're getting some progress done. All right. Remember, that's our destination. Hello. Please stop waving at me. It freaks me out. It's just saying hi. But my car shouldn't say hi. This isn't Knight Rider. This isn't Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Is our vehicle a character in our story? I mean, I guess if we put it that way, it definitely is. This is our sidekick. This is our noble steed. This is actually Chitty Chitty. Oh, Chatty Chatty Bang Bang, I guess. Yeah. Less of a night rider, more of a day tripper. Mm. I'm going to stop here and grab that orb. This junction has heavy fog. I don't think I need many resources from this area anymore. Obviously, we stop for armored cars. We stop for big truck. But I don't think we stop for a lot of houses nowadays. Oh, no, 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 no. We also stop for the big blue glowy glowy. You see blue glowy glowy. We stopped for that. Wow, that's a lot of fog. See? Just like the Pacific Northwest, friends. You know what? Actually, uh, I have experienced way more fog in Alberta than on the island. There we go. I need that blue glowy glowy. Fog better in the dark? What do you mean? No, fog is not better in the dark. The issue with fog plus dark is if you turn on your headlights, all you see is the fog. Between Edmonton and Calgary gets super foggy. Yeah, right? I dodged that. I so totally dodged that. Oh, Joe just made me coffee. Hey, friends. Can we get some thanks, Joes, in the chat? What a sweetie. What an absolute darling. Hey, what's up, Ultra Violet Voodoo? She's so supportive. She just told me I'm doing a great job. Wow, I'm so lucky. What are you? Steel bumper. I'm going to upgrade crowbars. Did you know this is something Atarka in particular will appreciate. Did you know that you can actually dome yourself when you close the trunk of your car? You, like, have to get out of the swing radius of the trunk of your car or you take damage. Ah! I need that plasma. So here, if you're wondering why I'm afraid of them. One, two, three... They move closer. Uh, 
I thought that went by, and it turns out I actually just stood in the electrical discharge. Are they like weeping angels? Correct. Except I've never seen Doctor Who, but that's what people keep saying, so... Oh, my car got electrified. I didn't think there were tourists on this, so... Did you see that time I kept getting surrounded by them and I was screaming? I think, I think I saw the red glint of a thermo thingy out here in the field. False alarm. Oh, you showed up just after that happened? Oh my god, it was horrifying. I got completely surrounded. It was so scary. It was so scary. I was so brave. Hello? Let's turn on some tunes. Got him. Gave him the Kansas City shuffle right there. They're spread out. Oh no, my tool broke. Where's my car? This way. Top left corner, there's a little, uh, where's my car radar, which is very handy. Did I make myself a backup glass smasher? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Scrap, metal, and gears. Well, buckets. All right. You want to see trunk damage? No, we're too good at this game now. Oh yeah, no, no, I know where to get scrap metal and gears from. I just don't want to. I'll get them. I'll get them when I get them. No, my tire got punctured again. The dragon teeth and eye deco will never be funny to me. Uh, they're shark. Please have some respect. Those are shark decals. Apex Predator of the Sea. That's what they call me. Surge Apex Predator of the Sea Jaeger. Why do they call me that? I have no idea. You know what? Like a lot of my nicknames. You know, sometimes you're just in high school and something happens and 
and people just call you that. It could be this one time I was swimming in the ocean and I emerged from the sea and I ate an entire seal whole. It was uh, kind of unusual and they started calling me, you know, apex predator at that point around there, but I don't know, maybe that's just a coincidence. They could be unrelated. Wait, how bad is... I thought I got a brand new pry bar. You thought it was Surge booty like a Pixar mum Jaeger? I mean, can't it be both? So I need two gears, is that correct? There you go, Atarka. That was totally deliberate, just for your enjoyment. Yup, I did that on purpose. Bonk. <laughs> this game is so good. What other game lets you slam your own head? in the trunk of your car, right? There's more tourists, so something to keep your eye out on our dashboard. You see this right here? If at any point you see little yellow arrows pointing to it, something has gone wrong. That's how people knew that we had a flat tire. You could also feel it, like if the car starts pulling one direction or something like that. Anybody else heard the uh, the phrase pea soup? You know, it's foggy like pea soup. It's a dark one. It's uh, pretty thick right now. What happened to our radio signal? We want to take a left at the next crossroad here. Should be around here. Oh, it's a tunnel. Oh, buckets. Well, off-road it is. Let's go. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. <laughs> a hazard eat your heart out hey i found the road and it only cost us one flat oh it's loose just check for dangers real quick mechanics kit Ah, uh, don't you love it when you just hit your tire a couple of times with a wrench and then it just suddenly fixes itself? <laughs> Bonk. Percussive maintenance. You just have to find the right pitch. Ding, ding, ding.
So the fact that we've basically unlocked a highway here is kind of sweet. All right, we're back in the spooky zone. Shoot, I didn't check the readings. No, we checked it before we left. It shouldn't have changed, right? I hope. Let's find out. Extreme conditions, waterways. Okay. What is... Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, we need to grab all three of the spooky this year. Uh, we want to stop and we want to get the weird eggs. Uh, we want to get the weird purple bark. And it's not looking that scary. It's not that scary. Say it with me, chat. It's not that scary. Space whale just flew by. Gotta love the long whale noises. Uh, I don't know if I've scanned that. Did I scan that? Okay, that one does weird stuff with our power stuff. Okay, tree candy? The Belching Barnacle. I'm brave. Why am I here? Oh, I'm here for this. So I'm wondering if it's killing me slowly compared to before, because I've insulated gloves on. What do y'all think? Well, that tree looks interesting. Maybe that tree has the tree candy that we're looking for. Eat some snacks here real quick. All right, so that big red thing could be something. Those weird gangly gangly trees could be something. You ever just ponder orb chat? Okay, orb is nothing. This is also nothing. Whale noises. Good. <gasps> okay, they have the eggs. Give me a second here. We're going to drive up to the eggs. You're an assistant orb ponderer? That's amazing. Maybe the orb is radioactive. Oh, I parked in... Uh, speaking of radioactive, I parked in a bad zone for that. I don't like how it pulls itself. That does not spark joy. Okay, so I want... I beg your pardon? What in the world is that? Okay, I need the vacuum. You're an orb understudy? Alright. In all of your years studying orb, 
Tell me some of your favorite orb facts. What have you learned about orb? Ooh. Wow. We're using a mysterious yellow growth we found near the exclusion zone. Who? Oh, look at this armored car, y'all. Oh my god, it's in such good shape. Okay, well, the ghost turned my car on, so that's fine. Orb fact. The way that we define a planet is if it has a managed shaped itself into an orb. Interesting. So if it's not orb shaped, it's not a planet, then it's an asteroid. Ow? What? Oh, I see what hurt me. So if it ain't round, it ain't a planet. Interesting. What's with this orb bias? It's a sturdy car? I mean, it is armored. I only really care about the red thing, by the way. There's other stuff on the ground. I don't care about it as much. I'll grab everything, but yeah. Managed to get five of the red glowy, which is very exciting. Uh, let's eat another can here. Okay. Oh, there's a big storm coming. Uh, that's bad. So let's maybe grab this next orb and then get on out. Get out, get on out, huh. get out, get on out, get on the scene, get on out, like a driving machine. <laughs> Go! That looked like a direct impact with the goo. Uh, no abductor, no abductor, abductor, no abductee. Abductor, no abductee. No. No. What did I just say? Stop it. Ow. Actually, hold on. You did take me out of the zone over towards this. So maybe... Maybe some thanks are in order. Planets are also required to clear their orbital path of others' debris. So there can't be a bunch of other rocks and chunk in orbital space. Interesting. Fun orb fact. If you extend the volume circulation for the form of an orb into higher and higher dimensions, the ratio of radius to volume peaks around 20 spatial dimensions and it starts coming back. Uh, that is too smart for me. I don't know what that sentence means. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a gas station. Cute. Please stop vomit. What's a guy got to do to just fill up their gasolina in peace? <gasps> Friendly dumpster. Got got anything more for that than me? Than one duct tape? No? All right, red green. Thanks there, bud. Excellent, James Brown. Thank you. Am I keeping my stick to the ice? It's either that or miss 100% of the shots I don't take. Did I scan you? Oh, there's a truck.
Uh, that had a bunch of the, the good red goo in it. Happy about that. Anytime you see this, even though, all right, I said red, but it's actually yellow. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's good stuff. <laughs> oh, uh, two tires are out. That's exciting. Jason! Hey, Jason. How you doing, bud? Uh, mechanics kit. Ceiling kit. All right. You touch my car? You dare touch my car? What did it do? Touched my car. The repair putty noise is extremely unpleasant to you. I'm sorry, friend. All right, so this should be right beside the road, and we want to we want to pull a sick UE here. There it is. All right, last orb, and then we're gonna we're gonna dip. Hey, friends, can somebody tell me where I get tree candy from? Have I just not seen it? I mean, mind you, I've only started looking now. I got a direct hit from that. You haven't seen it? Okay, so it's not like I've been. Okay, okay, okay. From trees? My God, Atarka, what would I do without you? All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. We want to go there. This should be a really easy extract. Looking for the candy trees specifically. Mm. Good to know. Do I have another flat? I do. My front right tire, something bad happened to it. Look at how brave I am. The hoodie's down. The hoodie's down. We're vibing. We're in our lane. Wow. Got a load of this Jaeger guy. The weather is gorgeous. I hope the weather is this nice when I get to the Pacific Northwest. I'm actually really hoping that um, it's nice and heats up like... If I had done the drive home a week ago when it was plus 15 and the roads were all nice and melted, that'd have been great. Instead, it snowed another, like, half meter. And so we'll see what that's like. Any mirrors in that garage. Better not to know if you've been teleported with your head on backwards. All right. <laughs> all right, dumpster, what you got? The game is me wondering, how do you feel about IRL night driving? Good! I like it. I like it. The roads are quiet. Yeah, I'd much rather drive when no one else is on the road. So, like, to that end, uh, we're probably going to try and hit the road like 5 or 6 a.m. Probably still going to be some trees in bloom when y'all get back. Oh, my God. The cherry blossoms. My heart, right? Can't wait. Uh, so we get any more special ready from this. We might just have enough. We might be very, very, very close to having enough to upgrade our engine. And then we're really going to go zoom. Are they blooming right now? That's so funny. Sorry. I'm just like so out of touch, obviously. Because, uh, <laughs> like, it's still snowing here, right? So I didn't even... Think about cherry blossoms. Did 
Ugh. I accidentally auto sorted my inventory and everything is terrible. So are both of these full now? No. No, that's impossible. There we go. I'm going to have to go further and further. Now I need to start using this one. Ugh. All right. Surge was literally skiing two days ago. Yeah. Well, skiing's kind of a stretch. I mean, I showed on stream the other day how I absolutely destroyed my skis. Singular. I destroyed and ski. But they're a pair, so uh, it's not good. <laughs> uh. Alright. Hit it with the putty. How are we doing here? Fragile! Terrible news. Do I have a spare armored door? I hope so. Right, I guess I could take all the steel stuff from here now. And just shred it. Seventy degrees out yesterday, and we're expecting a blizzard tonight. Then seventy again, man. Can you buy a singular ski? No, not typically. No. <gasps> Wait, with that other one getting shred, I might actually have enough here to make the engine upgrade. We'll see. Oh, they gave us uh, a decal back. Oh, right. Now that we're replacing components, I have to. Right, we have to redecorate. So give me a second here, because I need to put this in. And it's hideous. All right. Uh, first question. Nah, I'm just going to strip it first. I was going to say, like, do I have to go through all this effort? And I think the answer is I enjoy the process. Even if I don't have to, I enjoy the process. So let's do that. One sec. All right, we want our red paint. Uh, we want our totally three, uh, totally sweet speed enhancing. Oh no, we're almost out of the decal. That's devastating. What are we gonna do? Our car is gonna go so slow after that. Yeah, sweet. Caution, this is not paint. Okay. Uh, starting to run a little low on inventory space, which is always kind of spooky. All right, I need two mechanics kits, two ceiling kits. Uh, one mechanic kit, one ceiling kit. One mechanics kit, two ceiling kit. Actually, give me a second. I believe one of these tires is... Needs another ceiling kit. Okay. Dang. Fragile. What kind of skis died on the rocks? I was using vocals. Um, they're one of the smaller ones. I don't actually know what particular brand of vocal they were. I know they weren't kendos. I don't know. I'm not a huge gear guy. My dad, my dad's a big gear guy. He'd be like, oh yeah, the the X and the Y and the Z. And that's just not the way that like I, I do, you know? I'm not going to worry about the fragile door for now. 
Wait, that means I literally can't repair it, right? I think that's what fragile means. No, worn out. Giving up the ghost. Its wiring is burnt out. While it hasn't died yet, it's still trying its best. It's worth replacing this when you get the chance, right? You love your vocals? They're getting pretty old at this point. Yeah. I'm really lucky. I'm the same size and kind of the same build. My dad's a little bit heavier than I am as my dad. Uh, and we're also the same boot size, which means our, our bindings are interchangeable. So, like, I can just take his skis. <laughs> If I really wanted to go. Is the door fragile, not worn out? Same thing. Same, same. Same difference. Ski theft? Shh, don't tell him. It's an only theft if he catches me. Then it becomes a ski high speeds chase. I almost... That joke would have been funnier if I had, like, stuck the, the landing. All right. Uh, we got replacement gear. We got replacement tools. Uh, I want to put this stuff away. It's hard for him to catch me. If he's not wearing skis, also true. Also true. All right. Uh, large backpack. Swamp coral. Twitch chat. Ooh, padded parka. Certainly better than nothing, this will provide you with a modicum of protection against the knocks and bumps the zone inflicts, though could definitely become upgraded. Yes. Personal airbag? This modified parka offers the best protection yet against any potential physical harm. Love it. That's great. I'm getting swole. All right, that also means we probably have a ton of room in our storage now. Excuse me, Mr. Jaeger. Are you aware of any thefts that your son has been up to? Don't say anything without a lawyer, Dad. Twitch chat's going to try and get you. <laughs> All right, uh, next question. How close am I to next motor? We are two away from motoring. God, can you imagine if I had been one away from motoring? How embarrassing that would have been. <laughs> oh, man. I've never been so glad to be off by two in my entire career. Yeah, the craft from storage is huge. Imagine having to go and, like, open all of the drawers and find all of this stuff. Devastating. Okay, so... Tend to my wounds at the first aid station. Yeah, that's a good call. Things are looking uh, all right right now. Let's restock our food. Let's restock our one bandage. And then let's uh, restock ourselves back on the road. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't have any other food. It's just this. In which case, let's put food in there. Uh, no, I have 10 spare food here. Not going to worry about it. Put this back away. Thought Surge was never off by any number. My perception? Good. 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 I kind of wish there was a character screen where I could, like, see my stats right like apparently i'm tougher now but i don't actually know what that means all right y'all ready to hit the road again wait one of these is yellow still oh right the uh, the vulnerable one uh we're gonna grab the next time we see an armored car we're just gonna steal a door All right, we are heading here. Oh, look at this. Hey, another shortcut opened up. In one, two, three, we could get there. 
Um, I have to, I can get there in two this way, but that's neat that that, that route opened up. All right. Unstable anchor, left, right abductor, cough box, three new ones. Most importantly, no tourists. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to take a quick bio break and we come back. Adventure. Oh. Hello! Dense acid, swift storm, anomalous clouds, okay. Maximum, oh, look at that. There's lots of barrels of fuel. That's good. That's good. Abandoned squire is excellent. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a tree. There's a not recognized tree in the top right. I bet you that is delicious and nutritious tree snacks, huh? What about here? This has got the, the Salami Grotto, delicious. And the Neon Reef, okay. And tourists, don't love that. Don't love the tourists. Okay, okay, okay. Have I had any issues with save system or performance? No. I have not had a single crash. I've not had any issues. Uh, game has been an absolute delight. I mean, other than the, the you know, the existential terror and all that stuff. Um, I might actually invest in... Ah, this Liberator's got four uses. I don't need another Liberator. Okay, let's go. Those seem to be the main complaints on Steam. No. Not for me. Other than the fact that this game is, uh, makes my heart go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Sounds like a love song. <laughs> Everything has been perfect. <clears throat> 60 hours, one crash. Let's go. Let me see here. Say, wow, wow. Well, yeah, no. Different. I don't think that has a boom, boom, boom part, does it? Check this real quick. Anything we want to grab on the way? No, let's just dip. <laughs> Good driver. 60 hours, only one crash. Yeah, my record's worse than that. Doctor threw me into a... Cement brick not too long ago. Oh, that's a tree across the road. That's exactly how I expected my car to behave when I hit that bump. Neat. Oh, that's a tourist. Okay. When we see tourists, the hood comes up, right, everybody? Wait, which way am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to take a right here. Oh, no, abductor. No, 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 I'm sorry. Abductor, I'm sorry. Abductor, I'm sorry. Nope. You can't hit me. I'm too fast. Go. 
Dang it. Ow! That's what I get for talking smack. Oh, you know what I didn't try? I forgot. I have a shield. Uh, I know the shield repels the bun bun. I don't know if it also repels. Uh, next time I get hooked, I'm going to try that. I'll try that and I'll also try it for the bubblegum buddies. Ooh, that is good stuff, though. Go! There's a lot of them. other tourists around I saw a red glint I think I think if I'm lucky some thermo sap landed right there yeah let's go they really eat it sometimes You know what? This feels like less of a driving simulator and more of a breaking and entering simulator. Am I right? Like, how much theft have we committed here? Dang. What are they trying to teach me? I'm gonna go... To, if I keep following these lessons, when I try and drive back home, I'm gonna go to jail. That's bad. I don't want to go to jail, chat. I want to move into my new place. There's none own owners left. Hold on. Is this like one of these C rules, right? Like, I don't know. How does, how does that work? How does naval, like, shipwreck float some stuff count? Oh, did Opie give us permission at the beginning? I missed that part. Okay. Can't be, yeah, the law of salvage. Do I just shout that anytime? Like, kick open the door, shout law of salvage, and then it's all mine. If it's an abandoned ship, it's yours. How do you define if it's abandoned, though? Right? Like, if pirates go and throw all the crew into the ocean, <laughs> is it abandoned? <laughs> oh. I guess that's literally how, how piracy works. Huh. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's it's so simple when you put when you think about it that way, huh? Good day. Give him a little little driver nod, you know. Yeah, but throwing the crew off the boat is a separate crime. Interesting. Interesting. If it has no crew, has been reported missing and written off. Okay. High instability conditions reported. All right. There's tourists. I hate tourists. Harmful to humans. Eerie darkness? No. Okay. Never mind. We're going... Oh, the worst combination. The wombo combo of tourist and eerie darkness. Oh, buckets. And I need the stuff there too. 
I need the neon reef. Just remember how brave I am all the time. <sighs> oh, you know what? At least it's a short route. We stop here, we grab the goo, uh, and then we dippity. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, it's dark and it's foggy? This is the worst. Okay, there is the gate. There is the gate. Nice. Yes. Yes. No. Bad. 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 Stop it. Oh my goodness. Get your hands off of me. No. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Chase that. For the love of everything. Oh my god. A storm is coming. There's like none gas here. Armored car. I just want to leave. Uh, maybe that was safe, actually. Hold on. Right there was a tourist trap. I see what you did there. Oh. That's a spooky ghost. That's a spooky ghost. I 
I have two flat tires. I repeat, I have two flat tires. Do we not want to hit them? They explode. They explode. All right. No tourists, which is great news. No tourists. So I think this area is our best bet. I hope it's also not creepy dark. No freaky dark dark, please. Dress to impress and sell the outfitting station. Craft personal equipment that can help you survive in the zone. Mechanics kit. Got a flat here. Okay. Tires repaired. Car in medium condition. I repeat. In the trunk real quick. Put some stuff away. Like that large pearl. Oh my god. Somebody just texted me and it freaked me out. Ah! Is one of my headlights out? Uh, one of my headlights is smashed. I wonder if I can fix that with putty. Sploosh. Nope, my headlight is just missing. My headlight is gone. Okay, somebody stole my headlight. A thief! I have been burgled. I have been burgled. I have been burgled. And that is extremely rude. Okay. Um, Atarka! So what am I doing here? Oh, we make it here. We get the goo. We get out. We get the goo. We get out. Um. I wish I could like get in in a different seat. You know what I mean? And then like jump into the car from there. All right. Uh, we just wait. Wait. It closed now. Let's just assume it's because I'm a genius. Hello, weird haunted looking willows. Are you anything?
Hmm. Have we found tree snacks? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, there's the weird portal thing. Maybe that's tree candy? I don't know if I've seen that before. Hello. Can I hit you? Sick Mickey. How's it going, Mickey? So Sick Mickey does not appear to be giving me the gift of candy. I probably don't want Sick Mickey candy, if I'm honest. That seems bad. All right. So, oh, wait. What's this? What's this? Got there. Let me grab the hand vac. We found tree candy, chat. Good news. Good news. All right. Tree candy is a weird looking tree. Looks like this. Uh, two of these becomes one thing. So that tree is um, good. What did that get me? That got me 11 tree candy. That's great. I only had three before. All right. Good stuff. Stop that, please. Oh. Um... Oh, I'm in a storm. I was wondering why everything is so broken. I should um, get out of here. Why is it honking? Sometimes you get into electrical interference stuff and it just kind of messes everything up. And that is what we are currently experiencing. Oh, gross. Oh, so gross. See the car that just grabbed our steering? Okay, we're almost out of here. Almost out of that storm. What is that? Oh, a sap compressor. Oh my goodness. Come back. Sap, come back. You can blame it all on me. Wow, that's so good. That's our new motor right there, y'all. Okay, um, I need to repair my door real quick. Ow. Shoot. What was that noise? Okay, everything is great. Eat this little snack. Uh, I want to go that way, which means I want to go hard left here. Yeah. Try to avoid that purple area. Oh, yes. More condensed sap. Let's go.
I don't know why these exist, but you know what? I'm happy they do. That saves us so much time. Remember, we're getting like one of these. Uh, every other, other, other um, armored plate, right? And now we're getting like 10 at once. Incredible. Are we sure that we are human and not some kind of anomaly? We don't, actually. I thought right away that we were maybe a robot. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll find out. Yeah, we also don't know if the people we're talking to are real or human either. Uh, you know what? They're, I bet you this game is going to have some type of big um, M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end. A twist? <laughs> I uh, is that water? That is water. I don't want to touch water. Water is very bad for us. I'm just so glad this map doesn't have tourists. Oh my god. Even thinking that OP is a computer? That was my thought. I like my thought is they're all AIs or something like that, you know? But we'll see. Old M. Night or new M. Night? I mean, all about the twist. The more I see M. Night Shyamalan stuff, the more I think he maybe just got lucky <laughs> with, the, with the first couple. Right? You're like, six cents. You're like, yeah, all right. Unbreakable. You're like, yeah, all right. And everything since, you're like, wait a second. Huh. Uh, did somebody steal my car? No, I just ran in the wrong direction. Good talk. Appear to be dying pretty hard here. Let's use... No. We don't want to use the first aid kits yet. We can slowly use this food. Oh, 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 buckets. Um, okay, we need to go. This is a bad sign. This is a really bad sign. Uh, what is that pink thing on the map? There was a giant asteroid that just passed overhead. Wait, I want to be on this road. Am I asking? Nope. Rhetorical. Just thinking out loud. Oh, impending doom. That's exciting. Oh, buckets. Oh, accidentally went through the goo. Okay, got that a little tight. I was hoping we'd have more time to farm... Uh, we absolutely do not have more time to farm. Oh, this is really bad, y'all. This is bad. Okay, you can see the bar on the right. We don't have enough goo to, to like, kick it out yet. So... does look very cool. Yes. Um, can I not leave yet? I can't leave yet. Oh my god, I can't leave yet. Wow. Wow. 
That's like really, really, really awkward. The good news is it's not killing us that fast. Um, think of it like the zone in PUBG or Fortnite is what's going on here. Uh, so we are taking not necessarily massive, but we are taking uh, small amounts of damage constantly. Um, and then there is a red zone. So this is like a baby pre-zone and then there's like a deadlier post zone. I want to grab that tree before we get out of here too. We want to get onto the main road, which is here. And now we want to follow this road. And we want to dip. Okay, so we got tree bark. Uh, we got a lot of the red good stuff. Shoot. Uh, which, which way does the road go here? Left and then right. There's another right road here I need to get on. Where's, this, where's my turn off? Where's my turn off? It's here ish. It's through the ooze. There it is. There's the road. Dang it. Oh, I just barely clipped it. Oh, no, we're in the zone. Oh, no, we're in the zone. There's the red zone wall coming. It's not instant death, but it does burn. It does definitely burn just a little. Holy, look at our car. Look at our poor car. Look what they did to my boy. So it looks like when we get into the yellow zone, it also starts doing dot damage to our vehicle. Have a nice field trip. OP. One for me. One for you. All right, real quick. How many new quirks do we have? You know what? No new quirks. That's good. We still don't know what our quirks are, which is kind of wild. So one of the issues with using the automatic repairing wonder thing is if I end up swapping out panels, then I have to repaint them every time, right? This is terrible news. Like, look at this. Look at this hideous panel. How could I? All right, let's grab the red paint. 
Let's grab the uh, paint remover. What's the rabbit season decal from? That is from... Um, that is from the shark tooth. See if we get anything awesome out of this pearl. I beg your pardon? Oh, we just got a brand new fresh liberator. Wow. Let's go. I, I, yes, please. All right. For those of you who haven't played this game before, a little word of advice. Uh, the liberator, it's actually really weird. You have to hold down the button for a certain amount of time before it actually like even fires. And then once it does fire, it like rapid fires. So you can end up wasting a lot of your liberator usages before even more so than you need is what I'm trying to say. Bio flares, these are new. Store our bio flares in here. Oh, man. Okay, once we run out of uh, the shark, the flames. We're going to look exactly like that one arm from a lead guitarist in a metal band. Am I right? So relatable. Okay, I actually need to grab the components here. Flames on the car also make you go faster. That's also true. That's just science. All right. So we got a door. What else do we have here? One door. Thanks, game. Thanks. So you just need one little, one little droppity. Flames make everything cooler. You know what? Also fair. What did I do with that full liberator? Where did I put it? Oh, I left it on the ground. That would explain why I couldn't find it. Why is the matter refrigerator speaker tower? You know, it's a very good question. What are we getting here? That's an entire door. It's a love steel door. What is essential again? I'm not going to stand in the rain while I read. The friendly dumpster wouldn't be your best pal in all of the zone if it wasn't handing out things that it thinks you really, really need. Things you definitely, certainly should keep in order to safely journey through the less. Wow, that's uh, that's an interesting, that's an interesting hint. We really, really need these two things, okay? All right, well, I'll start by healing them. You know what? I'm going to put them in here, and then later on, it's going to teach us. There'll be a moment where we think to ourselves, wow, we really, really needed that, didn't we? Or we won't. That's okay. <laughs> we'll find out together. All right. Uh, I need to make another headlight, uh, an insulated headlight. So DM, I do that. Brand 
braking. Yeah, that's a lot of red on the old car there, eh? <laughs> All right, before we repair anything, can we make a new engine? That's the real question. Bam. Turbo light engine. Oh my God. So our previous engine had the, the, uh, the following statistics. 400 HP, 18 miles per gallon, and 128 horsepower. Our new one, bam, 500 HP, 14 miles per gallon, and 196 horsepower. This eight-cylinder crafting, custom-crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger, electronic multi-point injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel exhaust manifold. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I am just so swole. You ever watch a man pull an engine out of a car with his bare hands? <laughs> That's why I think we're a robot, by the way. <laughs> That's a lot of work. What happens if I do this? Oh. As someone whose engine just died this out of thing. Yeah, normally you need a whole like crane like machine to do the the lifty lifty for you, you know? All right, let's grab the putty. Time to repair some stuff uh, real quick. Any other weird things going on? No, wait, this one, this one's looking a little cooked. It's fragile. Fragile, fragile, oh no. Oh no. Fragile. All right, uh, <laughs> one, two doors, two doors, one panel. Two doors, two panels is what I need to construct. Gotcha. Oh. Where, where's the problem here? Oh, there's the problem. I see it was over on the right side. Okay, so I need to research the dumpster new. Yeah, I want to research armored panel. Oh, I have 8.8 .8 unstabilium. Let's go. And I want to learn um, armored door. I don't know if I have enough paint to redo our paint job, so we'll see. All right, uh, two doors, two panels. Okay, let's grab the old and busted ones. The machine's just dumping everything on the ground is hilarious. Yeah, agreed. Good old floor storage. You mean floorage? Big fan. Huge fan of floorage. Our noble steed, battered and bruised, but not broken, not defeated, nay. Like the phoenix, they will arise from the flames better and stronger than before. I take this, and I take this, and then I take, where's my shark teeth? There it is.
Okay, that was the last one. Uh, we are out of shark pattern, which is very upsetting to me. I loved you, shark pattern. I didn't realize fragile was a thing. And then when I did, literally every part of my car was fragile. Oof. Uh, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> You're like, okay, I guess I have to replace uh, checks, notes, everything. All right, now hit it with the goo. The game limits cosmetics. It's kind of an interesting decision, right? They give you so much of it. I guess the reason behind that is a, a reason to maybe experiment. Right? Has my car just been idling this whole time? Hello? No? Cat gooed. Car is looking great. Car is running great. Okay, now what I need is two ceiling kits and one mechanics kit. All right, that's looking great. Uh, our scrapper is fine. Our pry bar, we need a spare pry bar for the car. There you go. Pry bar kit is in. Good. Uh, got any spare rations? There you go. Slap those down there. Did the engine start idling before or after you install the new one? Uh, I don't think it is idling. Still have no idea what those quirks are. Has anybody noticed anything? I think that door shenanigan that we saw before. I don't think that was a quirk. I think that was... Because, like, it's working fine now. I think that might have just been something to do with the zone and parking on the hill. Lots of tire shenanigans. I think that's just because I'm driving off-road, though. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not looking for hints. I want to see if we can diagnose them. I was curious about the parking brake and the entry and animation. So the parking brake, that's actually a an upgrade we put in the car. This right here is an auto parker. So what happens is because I kept forgetting to put it in the drive, every time we get in and out, it automatically goes from parking to drive for us so we can just go. Yeah, that's a, that's a feature. <laughs> and then when you get out, it automatically puts itself into park, which is also kind of cool. What do we get from scrapping the old armor? That's a good call. Uh, we got some steel plates. We got a little bit of the old radium. Welcome to everyone's favorite game show, Quirk or Feature. Yep. All right, what are we looking at now? That takes corrupted energy, and I bet you that's what that weird meteorite was. Uh, that symbol looks correct. If I wanted to go hunt it down, uh, I decided to instead not die. All right, rapid refill pump. Sure, this has been on the main screen for a while. Let's see what this does. Does this just literally fill my car faster? It didn't take that long. You know what? Sure. Let's see what the future looks like.
That looks exactly the same, but sketchier. <laughs> it looks like we took all of the safety components that you normally have in a gas tank and then just put more exposed wires in risk of fire hazard. Great. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Yeah, we put a bunch of speed holes into it. No kidding. We never said that fast meant safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you put it that way. Oh, we also have an experimental charging station. No, thank you. All right. Uh, let's look into roof storage then. Because a while ago, we got the roof rack. There we go. XL roof storage. What's this? Substantially increases your cane capacity by simply securing a, pat a patently illegal amount of objects to the roof. Follow an established tradition practiced by families all across the Pacific Northwest. Incredible. Incredible. I love this. It's also really funny because it's like, ah, we might not have a lot enough room to carry everything back, you know. And my dad was like, ah, we'll just buy a, buy a container to slap on the roof of your car. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, thank you. That is so much roof box. All right, how much room for activity do we have there? That is so much room for activity. Oh my God. Well, well, well. Would you look at this? Now, now I, I can put, all right. So this is only stuff that we loot. And then what we put up here is all kinds of great stuff. Look at that. There's a spot for the crowbar. There's a stuff for the jerry can. S stuff. There's a spot. There we go. Like this. You know what, actually? You know what? I'm going to make a second jerry can. I think that's the secret tech right there. Let's make a second jerry can. You can never be safe enough. Oh, right. Let's test this out now, too. Will we die? I mean, that's kind of fast, I guess. Nice. Oh, I love that. So let's get ourselves a second. You know what? This is going to be... I got a plan. This is going to be tools. This is going to be emergency repair stuff. Nice. Okay. And now that we have room, we could try making uh, the electric repair kit, whatever that's called. Let's see if I have it unlocked. The electrician's kit. All right. First up, we need to get the light replacement kit. EZ. And then we grab the electrician's kit. There's been a couple of doors so far that we couldn't get into. Now we just carry a couple of these on us at all times, right? Oh, man. Speaking of carry a couple of these on us at all times, why stop? There we go. See, I kept getting close to running out. So now what we do is we just have two and two of both, right? Speaking of which, uh, this is the stuff for us. So let's put that back in there. Love to see it. The blueprint scanning supports our robot theory. Oh, good point. Love this. 
Um, I'm, I think I'm fine to leave it like this for now. So yeah, tools. This is the stuff that we use. Car. This is the stuff that car uses, except for that crowbar slot, but that's because it's perfect. Not having food and first aid doesn't. We don't know what kind of food or first aid it is. How do you know we're not pouring the food out and eating the metal? The fade away. Wait, I'm supposed to throw. The fade away. Dang. That was so bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm committed now. Holy moly. I cannot arc this at all. Wait, what if we what if we try from like here? A little bit more up. Got it. Not quite ready for the NBA. It's because we're a robot, I'm telling you. Up even more. Wow. I'm making this shot. Oh, that looks so good. You know what? It's gone forever. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do I want to look into here? I want to look into... Actually, I want to look into more clothing. Now that we know about this uh, fabrication station, let's start focusing on the large backpack. And for that, we need swamp coral. Got it. Oh, we want lead as well. Okay. Okay. Anything else I have missed for now? Or do you think we're about ready to, uh, to hit that dusty trail again? Because we can get to the plot area here. Uh, somehow we don't have any information on what we're about to find out. Really? Oh, no. There it is. Shocked tourists? Oh, no. Now I'm just sad. So if we go this way, I can skip a step, right? We go one, two, three, four, and then we're there. If we're a robot, are we more of a Westworld robot than a Blade Runner robot? I've never seen Westworld, so I'm just gonna assume um, Blade Runner. What does it mean two scanner charges to the right of the garbage symbol? Where's the garbage symbol? The garage symbol. What's the garage symbol? <laughs> Our home base. Oh. Uh, we have a level two scanner. I don't actually know what that means, but presumably it lets us scan further and further. Like, I don't know what a lot of these numbers mean. Maybe that's how many stops it is to get there. Three. One, two, three. Yeah, it just shows the route to get there. So that's what that number means. So it take four to get there. All right. Let's hit the old dusty road. Scourge! See? We can do it too. I put those in the wrong order. We've already been going for five hours? How?
<laughs> sliding on that hood would hurt so much. Nah. All right. Uh, there's a not recognized floaty floaty. Can openers. Tourists. Ah, man. Hurricane Squall. So I think this might be... Remember there was that red flashing light thing that was chasing us? I might try and get out and scan it. I'm going to scan it. I'm so brave. Thank you. So we just take a, take a left at the dirt road. All right. Oh, right. How does the new engine feel? Uh, I'm going to say about 60 horsepower more powerful. Ooh. You know what? I'm feeling pretty zoom zoom, if I'm honest. What was our top speed before? We have a speedometer right there. We're getting 60. That's a tourist. Somebody was mentioning earlier that this game, normally when people say, man, this game would be fun multiplayer, I think I do agree that this would be fun multiplayer. Like, somebody to hop out and grab stuff, somebody to act as navigator, when you're like, next left, next left, right? Like, that would be actually legitimately kind of cool. I would, I would enjoy playing this game with somebody a lot, actually. Okay, there's a structure to our left and then a dirt road to our left. And that's where we want to turn. Ooh, that's a fuel truck. I don't care. I'm, I'm, we're already all topped up. Lethal Company, but with cars. I mean, I guess that's a little bit of the Lethal Company game play loop, right? Yeah, no, 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 no. We are, we are definitely zoomy right now. Like this acceleration is so much better. I guess I do have to be mindful of our gas consumption now. Before, like, I don't want to say it ever got bad. It got a little low at some points. Like, I never left a level with less than a half a tank, right? And we picked up an extra jerry can just in case. Scourge! Okay, so if we park... Hereabouts. Yeah, there it is. That is so many tourists. Do 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 do. God, I hate them so much. Also, uh, this area wasn't here when I parked, I swear. Ah, God, I kiss. Ah. <laughs> Hi. They just always get me. They always get me. <sighs> what 
We've we've discovered everything on this level. Ooh, Salamander Grotto and a Neon Reef. Okay, and most importantly, what is Airstrip? Oh, that's the the launchy launchy. Uh, gas station. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's an electrical building, uh, but no tourists. No tourist. No tourist. No tourist. Sorry about the screaming. <laughs> Oh, I'm probably when uh, when I did let's know when we did the um, whatever that called like the 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 five person multiplayer murder mystery thing. Ben keeps telling me that I scare him more than the game scares him, which you know what that's fair. All right, where are we going here? Let's go this way. All right, keep our eyes peeled for trees. Keep our eyes peeled for all kinds of good stuff. Trees and the weird reefy things. <laughs> not, not these trees. No touchy. Airtime. Yo. Oh, that's way more air than I wanted. Okay. Put me down. Jeez. Okay, that was too much air. You know, I'm a little bit curious about this science facility. Oh, they're fighting. Yes, fight amongst yourselves, you fools. Only like getting that much air on skis. Not at this age, I don't. When I was younger, absolutely. I would full send. Now, anytime I'm about to get air, I think to myself, man, how hard is the ground? And then I'm like, ugh. It's probably really firm, you know? And then I don't I don't send nearly as much as I used to. You have too much respect for gravity. I have too much respect for my knees. <laughs> like The most amount of air you've gotten is a foot. Oh, the crash landing, of course. Oh, I used like we're talking we're, like cliffs. I would throw I would throw myself off anything. <laughs> like I'll do it if I'm powder skiing. If I'm somewhere where I know the landing is soft, I start making way worse decisions. Okay, I think that that whale noise means wait. Ceiling kit. My grade five teacher was an Olympic gold medalist freestyle ski jumper. That's cool as heck. My. That was a weird noise. I don't like these noises. I'm going to leave. Uh, in grade nine, uh, our gym teacher was an Olympic wrestler, which was really cool. He was a small weight class too. He was uh, 135 pounds. Just a little guy. You would never call him just a little guy. Full cauliflowered ears. You're like, oh man. Nope. Okay, so the shield does remove the grabby grabby. Noted. The shield does remove the grabby hands. No touchy. Oh, hey, we found the salamanders. Wait, did we? No, we found the orbs. Yes, orb and salamander. Nice. 
So we go here, we grab this. It's not a lot of egg. Oh, I found some more. Oh! Good news, y'all. Orb. Hey, random mechanics question for those of you who might know the answer. Uh, when you get to the final map, you normally have to launch. You need to collect like a certain amount of unstayed belilium or whatever. All those various things. If you collect it from earlier maps, does it make the portal on the final map easier? Or do you still have to collect it all on that one map? All anchors up into that point count. That's kind of cool. I don't want to park near an abductor. Oh, we're going to get some sick air here. Pardon me. How much damage does this do when we land? At least one flat tire is worth. Collect them all. It makes leaving easier. That's good to know. Right driver door, radio turns on and toggles. Uh, I was in the midst of getting hit by a scramble. I don't think that was, I don't think that had to do with just the car. I think that had to do with the fact that it was already being um, zappadied by weird electrical nonsense. I don't think that's a quirk. Oh, we in a storm. Okay. Uh, we should probably dip then if there's a storm coming. We grabbed a good amount of salamander eggs. Time to full sand. Right into a tree. Good. I should really stop sending. <laughs> All right, I would stop for coral. I don't think I need any more marsh eggs. Oh God, the goo. I mean, actually, you know what? Right here. Grab some more goo. No, no, no worries, James Adabel. You're fine. Thank you for pointing it out, though. I mean, you, you definitely noticed something. Uh, except in that particular case, what was it? Uh, correlation is not causation. Real quick, uh, I've got oh, two damages here. I've got a... It's a good thing I made all these extra ceiling kits, huh? Should make a marsh omelet out of all those marsh eggs. I don't know how um, edible those are, Arclight. Wow, it's a good thing I made three extra ceiling kits, huh? Cause like we already we've already gone through a lot. <laughs> the stuff fall out of the back if you don't close it? No, but what happens is there is um 
sort of like an environmental safety rating of the car. Like we just don't die. Ooh, you know what? Um, we the car shields us from the grossness of the outside. Does this poison me? Sure does. Uh, and if the car is, if a door is open or a component is missing, then we don't get the defenses. Where's my first aid kit now? Up top, eh? Okay. Okay, we just need to leave now. Uh, we have no map and we are in a big old rad storm. Got it. Gross. Oh, and the circle is closing too. And we have double flat tires on our left now? As Adam would say, brother. Oh, it's completely blown out. You know what? You know what? I brought a spare, right? Right? I don't have a spare tire? Car of Theseus, replace all the car's original parts. I mean, I had a, a long time before that, y'all. Oh, man. That's not good. All right, well, we've arrived at our destination, and it looks like the storm has left. Uh, we just need to be real careful. Why can't I click on this? Wait, I have to stop here first? Buckets. No. Oh, I didn't actually scan the tree. Neat. All right. We have a liberator. Uh, we just need to find a armored vehicle. think the IRL drive is going to be easier than this? I don't know about that. Alright, we're coming this way. We want to stop here. Extreme conditions. Intense rads. Dense acid. Swift storm. Ah. Oh. Hello. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for things we've never seen before. I want to stop here. And I want to grab all of this stuff, because it's all good stuff. Joe's sake, you hope the IRL drive is easier. Joe says thank you. Those are some good, good, high quality things we just grabbed there. Let's 
fill her up. So, it looks like one large fuel can is about half a tank. Almost exactly. I'm going to keep this on my person. Oh, good. The zone is shrinking already. I'm going to take a right at the fork of the road here. Is this a live feed of my move? You know it, David. Oh, I hadn't done a spike log before. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Go right. Stop at the red orb. Then get out. Hey, look, a barbecue. Excuse me. No. There it is. Wait, move? That's right. Monday is my last stream until the new place, which is very exciting. Or unexciting, depending if you want me to move back or not. Alright, I want to go this way, and then I want to hang a right, and then I want to get out of here. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of You know what? That's fine. Just a little bit of acid on the inside is a treat. That's good. That's good, actually. Empty. I've never actually seen one full 100% empty before. Uh, my trunk appears to be broken. Ooh. Uh, I think I passed it. That's fragile. Crap. Empty. Uh-oh. Y'all. My gas sources... Okay, we are through. Oh, I know we're fine, but better to not need it, right? Better to not need it is the uh, is the thought process here. I'd much rather have have two full tanks when we get back, two full jerry cans than uh, anything. Car's seen better days. Ah, this isn't our worst one either. If you have it, you don't need it exactly. Brian Bacon gets me. Alrighty. So, uh, I need a couple of things. One, where am I? I need to stop here, and then we need to go to the quest. And this is kind of weird. What? Where are we? Investigate the ruins. Wow, it is pouring. What is this road? They bulldoze that facility to the ground. There's nothing left to reminisce about. Is my car taking damage? 
from the rain. Uh, did from the uh, the zap tourists there. God, zap tourists. Oh, this map is going to be just a nightmare. I don't know if I've ever identified the weird glowy orb in the sky before. Ninety-nine moly balloons floating in the summer sky. Yes. Oh, I can't reach. Um... Um, shoot, where is it? Oh my goodness, I can't find the gas nozzle. There it is. What's this? A brand new off-road tire? Crap. No buckets. Oh, I accidentally used all the charges there because I got a little too excited. Need an electrician's kit. Well, 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 look what's already paying for itself, y'all. Nice. Uh, one of my tanks is also broken. Crap. I've gone through six ceiling kits. Just if you're curious. Hey, Serge, how many ceiling kits have you gone through? Six is the answer. Six. So far, okay, I got all the orbs we need to ditch. Where's the road? So this is the giant facility they said they had bulldozed. That's kind of wild. Uh, let's try and stick on the roads and take it nice and safe here. How's 
Francis. So, he hasn't left the bedroom. I'm sorry. You didn't know about his devotion. It wasn't my secret to tell. It's fine. This is between him and me. Oh, there's the bouncy, bouncy friend again. What, what did Alan tell you about his work? He was second in command of Dr. K's lab, after all. Alan didn't discuss his work with me. Nor did I share mine with him. Wait, you were ahead of the whole... Man, this place is, uh... Really quite something right now, eh? Uh, if there was anything useful to be found, I'd have sussed it out already. Well, that's all I did after the accident. Okay, next left. To find any access. That is a lot of good stuff. Nice try. Popped up hair. Wait, have I scanned you before? Look at the size of this facility, all oh, wild. Can't bulldoze something that large. Just get a bigger bulldozer. Checkmate. On the other side there, there's a lot of the good trees too. So this is this is a lot of like high, high tier material stuff. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is just mid-tier material, but you know, to me, it's in good, it's the good stuff. There's some more of the zappy zappies. <clears throat> Ate that for me. At least the electric tourists are easy to see. Yeah, but there's so much more sucky. Wow, just leaving it idling there cost us a non-zero amount of gasolina. All right, can I go through this or is this closed? No, we can go through. Oh, buckets, not this again. Dr. K's access records were coded to the lab that used to be here. I'm feeling less optimistic by the second. Not a scour this place clean. Oh, something's here, we just can't see it. Oh, following a hunch. <laughs> not your usual MO, Oppie. No, but being suspicious of Arda is. It says that they explode each other. Yeah, I should be... Oh, nice, there's fuel there. I was going to say, I should be a little bit more... Um, I should be turning my car off. I should not be idling. For any hell divers in the chat, Mantis is under siege, and we could use some backup. I love that. I do. Legitimately love that. On my way, y'all, for democracy. Remember, chat, if at any point you feel uncertain, simply yell for democracy and head on in. Hey, the POV. Thank you very much for 61 months. The bugs deserve a win. Wow. We found a bug apologist in the chat. Awkward. You know what? I kind of wish I had the floodlights right now, I'm going to be honest.
there was the option to install f uh, side floodlights in the car. And I was um, kind of mid on that. How do I get out of here? I guess we follow the we go the path uh, well traveled instead of least traveled here. What is zapping my car? Electricity. Thanks, Atarka. Okay, friends, uh, pardon me for one second. I need to stress pee before we continue on this journey. I'll be right back.
Well, hello there. Well, I can't help but notice that looks wide enough to take my car. So far, the game hasn't done a thing where it, like, wants us to get out of the car. And then, like, explore around a corner. Do you know what I mean? It's never been like, okay, go, go and get this MacGuffin. And then from there, you can open a door. How is there rain coming through here? I'd like to report a bug. It's a maze. Hey, I got a quirk. I got a quirk. The door doesn't close when I'm parked on a hill. That's my thought. That's my thought. Write that down. Somebody write that down. Oh, that's just a bug? I mean, that's also kind of life sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh no, my, uh, my, uh, hammer just broke. You know what? Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I can grab it later. Like they said, scan everything you find down here. I'm like, deal, will do. Thus far, nothing is scannable. Oh, there we go. Got some experiment data. Wait, that means back on the other machine, I have another one that's scannable too. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Tobias, run those reports to the decryptor and see what you can find. The well. Well, well, well. Did I smash the power source before I could scan it? No, there we go. Oh, you'll like this, Tobias. Your remnant origin story, if you will. So let me guess. Remnant origin You're story. You're about to ruin a good urban legend with a bunch of science. <laughs> Fine, I'll read this one myself. Nice work, driver. We'll review these and summarize our findings after. I need another impact hammer. Awkward. I do not have another impact hammer. Oh, that's actually mega awkward. Okay. Majorly awkward, actually. I mean, you gotta love the. What about these diagrams, though? It looks like he was trying to convey Sorry. something. You can admire the doctor's newfound art skills all you want. You won't find anything useful in them. Gotta love the giant secret underground research facility, right? A little bit sad we don't get any of this sweet, sweet plasma, but whatever. Okay, there are some friends here. 
Let's just go deal with them. Chuck, hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome, friends. Thank you for stopping on by. Uh, we're having a big lore moment right now. Look at my giant dome. Oh. Oh. scour the place. Now... Hmm. This game looks interesting. It was! How was your stream today? Thank you for stopping on by. Alright, give me a second here. Uh, I still want to head there if at all possible. And I just don't know if I can. We're going to give it a try. A lot of magic drafts. Love it. Love it. Alright, let's go this way and see if we can't drive through. So yeah, the giant light, really appreciate that. Clear indication of where to go. Claim some more of the spark. Nice. Love it. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for bringing everybody on by. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is Pacific Drive. This game is very good and very cool, but also very spoopy. So I hope you brought a safety hoodie. And look at that. We outie. We outie. Hello. Ow. Extremely rude. So it turns out we needed exactly six kits to fix our stuff. Good thing we made six kits. Can you imagine if we hadn't? Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet? Go! Oh, buckets. Yeah, we just missed out on so much plasma. That would be delightful, sweetie. Joe's gonna make us another coffee. My love. All right, so the good news is we've already grabbed enough goo to get out of here. That's huge. When am I rolling? Do we want to just dip right now or do you want to loot? Loot or dip? No, that's a gateway. That's not anything. We could just get out, you know. It is pretty spooky.
Depends if there's anything good. All right. I I don't know if there's any notable loot. I didn't really check the map before we got here. All right, I tell you what. I tell you what. Let's drive to here. I'm just a little bit worried about getting another flat tire because if that happens, uh we have we used 6 kits already. I could get another orb. I could get more orb, but the orb is in kind of an awkward spot. All right, I tell you what, if there are, if there are spooky friends here, we're out. If there are no spooky friends, I am more willing to loot. How do you feel about that compromise? Oh, I can't even break this because I don't have an impact hammer. That sucks. Scourge. I am so sad that I don't have an impact hammer right now. All right, some kind of freaky ghost orb. Good. All right, let's go off road here. Which is probably a mistake considering we have no flat tire kits. Drive through this swamp. Good. Good. Hey, what's up, the Andu? Thank you for 37 months, friend. Nope, that was not what I wanted to hit. Oh, man, the weather really changed on the island since I moved out, eh? Look at that. It's not quite how I remember it, but, you know, it's pretty rainy, so that's close. Hey, a truck. What are the Chinese lantern things in the sky? What are you talking about? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Crude panel. Isn't fire one kind of normal these days? Only in the summer, not in the winter time. Okay, uh, let's get onto the road and then let's let's boogie boogie boogie. Let's um let's dip. <laughs> uh, I man, it's my dad's seventy. And it was really funny because we were chatting the other day. Hold on, I have to back up a little bit here so I can actually activate this orb. Oh my god. Let's go this way and then turn around. Let's get on the road and then turn around. We were skiing and I was talking about the day and I was like, yeah, uh, anyways, what time do you want to dip? And he was just like, dip. Does that mean leave? <laughs> like, oh my god, yes. Wait, is the wind literally blowing my car? Okay, enough of that. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh, buckets. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, no. Hey, okay, we got a flat tire. Or something. GG, everybody. Big mission. Have I played Seven Days to Die? No, that is... <laughs> I don't do horror, he says, playing this game. <laughs> oh, we did it! Big mission, everybody. Big, big mission. Now we go into the deep zone. Easy peasy. Except for the issue of the old wall. Right, yeah. That. Uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve, huh? Is that how you think it works? That scientists conjure up genius at will? Yes. Well, yeah. Do you? Uh, well, in this case, I do. <laughs> I don't expect it to work like that every time. Driver. The quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall, but they're death traps in their own right. But I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. All right. Uh, we made it out, which is very exciting. Extremely pog champ. <laughs> All right, friendly dumpster, what you got for us? Hey, consolation plasma. <laughs> Thanks, game. Rude. All right, what are we looking at here? Uh, we need six more ceiling kits. No pog emote, that's just sad. Wow, that's so hurtful. I, I don't, is James even using it? Real talk. I feel like, I feel like the Pong chat emote is not, wait, did I only make three? Did I not have room? I don't feel like it's being respected over there, y'all. You've never heard him say Pog? That's because he's an old man. Old man Turner. Oh, we should check out some of the new cool things we got, by the way. I don't know what they are, but they could be new and cool. All right. Ah, uh, man, this poor car. Okay, the tires are just getting bullied. What is this? Uh, needs a ceiling kit. Okay. That's cooked. Great. We can squatters write the emote. I mean, we were talking about this earlier, right? You're talking about uh, the law of salvage. Uh, and so we'll just simply take it from him. In 1v1 combat, I'll fight him to the death. What do you think? Worth? Overreaction? Oh, I'm almost out of rubber. That's exciting. All right. Uh, it might be time... Jeez. Oh, what's what happened here? Rusty. Fix none. Well, that's bad. One, two. Lightning rod. Oh my goodness, this game. How dare you not let me indefinitely repair all of my stuff? Okay, so, first things first. One lightning rod. Did we enjoy the lightning rod? I think we enjoyed the lightning rod. Do we have a little bee as a hood ornament? We sure do. Uh, next thing I want to do. Side fuel tank. Get another one of thems. No, no, no. I like my loadout. We're going to do the same thing. No! Rubber! It's fine. We got a bunch of rubber right here, right? 
Uh oh. Hold on. I know about rubber. I've got some in my broken tires here. Uh, I want to keep one as a backup. So even if it's a little flat, that's okay. Okay, side fuel tank is a go. Hey, look at that. It comes pre-fueled. Wait, no, it doesn't. That is uh, empty. That's what that is. All right, that did fuel pretty quickly. Speaking of which, you are not empty. I do like in order to fill a jerry can, you have to put it on the ground. Like, I actually kind of legitimately enjoy that about this game. I don't know. Is that is that weird? Are other people like, nice. Good job, game. Uh, I need two impact hammers. Safety first. It's true. What if I make... What if I research impact hammer the second? Because it has an upgrade, right? Oh, it needs Corruptium, though. Okay, never mind. Uh, can I get better the Liberator? I can. Liberator Mark II. What about Scrappity Mark II? The Plasma Scrapper. The power of plasma makes this upgraded scrapper almost feral. Interesting. Get a backup, a backup scrapper. Also uses rubber though. Yikes. All right. Well, I'm going to make it. I'm going to put it in the truck. And then we're going to swap it out when the time comes. Oh, look at that icon. That looks so good. Okay. So, important question. Do we pull stuff off here? with the Liberator, or do we just scrap it? Armored door, armored panel. I think I've got a couple that are cooked, right? Uh, that's one panel, one door. One panel, one door. Two doors, one panel. Two doors, one panel need to be replaced. Oh, uh, actually, I have a door already, right? I have a door and I have an panel. Nope. Glad it didn't take damage. So I just need one additional door. I think I just scrap that and I craft a new one, I think. We're going to have to come up with a whole new cosmetic. We're going to have to come up with a whole new look for this whole car, y'all. I hope you're ready. Do we have to reapply the paint job every time? Every part is separate. Yes. That's how this game works. That's a lot of scrap metal. So I needed to make one more door? Yes. <gasps> my goodness, my love. Hi, cutie. All right, let's head outside and let's scrap all of this. I need rubber. So breaking the tire down is gonna be great. Actually, here's a question. 
you get more resources when you door break it, right? So therefore the liberator, now that I'm rich enough for a liberator, it's more efficient to liberate than it is to smashy smashy, is that correct? Agonite's kits, good night's kit. I've given up on English. I think this is better. I think this is more efficient. Provided that, yeah, like I don't really need to worry about the liberator recipe anymore. So if I hit it once here, it should give me both pieces. Yeah, yeah, right? And then I do this. English has not given up on me. What if I've given up on it? Look, I have accepted that I English at like a three out of four. All right? It's it's just who I am. It's how I be. And that's okay. Wait, I could be doing this, which is smarter than what I just did. Okay, good stuff. Now, let's do a little bit of science here, friends. The question is, will the weird condition on an off-road tire get repaired in here? Huh? Uh, I do need to have a spare tire on me, basically at all times now. So let's make ourselves one of, oh no. That's fine, I'll get, I'll get the resources here. There's gonna be rubber in here, yeah. Need to make sure we have a spare tire on us at all times. Honestly, the fact that I got out there and I didn't have a spare tire was kind of spooky for a second, right? Oh. Didn't like that. Cork door closes on hill. So uh, as soon as I said that, Jason, somebody mentioned that it's potentially a known bug. I mean, I guess there's no harm in testing it though. So let's test that, right? So, um, front left door is opened. When car See, I don't have a way to say when it's parked on a hill, right? So you think it's the other way around? Okay, so when car is on an incline, the front left door I don't have it says it won't close. If car is on an incline, it opens. Let's just see if any of that's correct. Car! <laughs> All right. Uh, so there's a little smiley face system if something is right. And the game says, yes, the car. The car is something. Every time the car crashes... Any tire, nope, tires don't fall off. Okay, I can't say that the tires are, uh, okay. You do get free eight guesses. Yeah, I'm not gonna trial and error it. Not this way. That's not how I wanna solve it. That's not how I wanna play this game. I want to play the game by uh, experiencing the car, not the computer. So it's cool that you can solve it that way. That is that is not how I want to experience this game. And that's all right. We can play games in different ways. Obviously, it's not detrimental. Otherwise, we would have noticed it. So it's like a little puzzle. It's like a little gift. Uh, 
I don't, I think I look for impact hammer and I can't, oh no, I can do it. All right, we want two of these. Just have to make some more gears. Okay, two impact hammers. One for me, one for storage. Do I like how that looks? No, not particularly. I don't. I had a liberator this whole time. So how do I want to make this look? What if we try something like this? No, then there's still a uh, wasted space. What an annoying shape they've given us to work with here, eh? I've never once used the flare gun. I have now once used the flare gun. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Did it give me like 20 flares? No, that's just what I had on me. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a really awkward usage of space. Isn't it? Is that better? I can put another crowbar in there. This is almost exactly like Tarkov, by the way. <laughs> The like, hey, I got a bunch of really oddly shaped stuff. What should I do with it? What do you, what do you think? What do you think of that? That's okay. I end up with the exact same amount of space. It's just all about, it's all about flow. Oh yeah, no, we've already called this Karkov already once. Rat. You're too late. <laughs> too late with your joke, Marshall. <laughs> uh, manger. Ooh, ooh, what's all this? Lead. Delicious and nutritious. Lead. Ooh, I got swamp coral as well. Okay, now, do I have enough of a bunch of the weird new things to make anything cool? So large backpack requires way more swamp coral. Okay. Olympium fragment. That's new. Oh, I could probably make another fiberglass here. Uh, can I make seven... Fiber, whatever that's called. I sure can. Okay, so that lets me get two new outfits here. I can wear a stiff shirt. Protects us from piercing. Uh, oh, I'm sure of fabric now. Neat. Well, that's new. I didn't expect that to happen. But you know what? It's exciting to have new problems, right? All right. Uh, now, I should probably putty the car. Okay, you're red. The bumper is red. Uh, the side panels are both yellow, so let's repair both of these. Yeah. 
I've discovered the armor of businessmen. <laughs> Just wait till I equip my trusty tie and get a synergy bonus. What even is the set bonus for the businessman? Okay, so. Time for the true end game. Now it's time for fashion. So for starters, let's strip everything off, right? Should we go back to wood paneling? <laughs> wood paneling or totally sweet fiery, fiery paint job? What do you think? You want fire? When you're saying fire, what song are you thinking? Are you thinking like that 70s and 80s classic song? Or are you going with like the scooter? Fire! Like that one. Which fire are you thinking? It's a very cute emote. Whose emote is that? Millie? Look how cute this emote is. Got a little calcifer. As a German, you not try not to think about Scooter? Do they suck? Are they like a bad person? Or are you just not a fan of like party rock anthem music? Wait, this paint stripper. Why these are normally black. It kind of looks bluey now. Weird. All right, what do you think is a good complementary color to fire? Uh, orange, ooh, burnt orange. It literally has the word burnt in it. That's kind of cool. Off white, cab yellow. <laughs> Blue and fire, are you sure? I don't know, I don't think that, that doesn't quite line up for me. What was this pink? What is this? Beige. Oh my god. So we don't have dark purple. Like you can see the colors that we have access to here. Uh, I'm going to try black. Wait, Hot Wheels is literally blue on fire? Really? So what's the difference between regular black? Like unpainted black and black black. Kind of like it. How will I spot my car at night? That's an excellent question. The fire, actually. That's going to help us out tremendously. So it's kind of a matte black, which I like as well. We already painted the chassis, right? Yeah. All right. I think we hit everything. All right. Next up. Next up. We hit it with the fire. What's this? Animal stripes. Oh, y'all. Hey, Guy Fieri called and he wants his car back. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo! Next stop, Flavor Town. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this, y'all. All right, now what other sweet things did we get? All right, uh, instead of the car, we could have the submarine. So that goes right here. Look at them, right there. 
We got rid of the car and we got a little submariner. Okay, I like that. What else do we have? Uh, the air freshener is still going to be the pine tree. kind of has to be. Steering wheel. Nope. Uh, we have a angry looking sculptor or the rose. Wait, they call that a potato cup. Uncooked potatoes may be too starchy. <laughs> Ooh, I kind of like the chain. I kind of like the chain, especially with the fire. I think that's a good swap. All right, what do we have next? Uh, bumblebee. Oh, yo, perfect. Yes. Pixel Savage, that one's never getting through. Where where do you think you are, Pixel Savage? <laughs> just a just a quick little quick little check on that one, friend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good job, Automod. <laughs> All right, love that, love that. Now. How much faster do you think our car is? This has got to be faster than the shark pattern, right? You like the B more? No, more than the flaming tire? We can go back to the B, but I think this fits better. At least 10% faster? More than that, yeah. Only faster when it's not in water. That's true. We did introduce a new elemental thing. Now, classically not water. It's weak to ice. Water's countered by lightning. What about a flaming bee? We don't have one of those. It's not faster, but the world slows down to check it out. Ooh, I like that flavor. <laughs> All right, let's check out a little bit of lore, and then let's call it a day, friends. I've been trying to reach you about updating your tickets. <laughs> Love it. Need you to make sure that you update your tickets when you're done with them, chat. ARDA cat ref three dot five one. Localized patches of this anomaly appeared throughout the fringe areas of the zone between 1967 and 1968. Thin waist height grass-like structures would spring up overnight these were topped with variously colored bulbs that would frequently combust with the slightest friction this anomaly was aggressively culled whenever found and has not been reported since 1968 theories oh is this the conspiracy theory so there are these things flying around in the zone at night and i know for a fact they're all robot owls the thing is, like real owls, they're mocking us. The reason they put up these big walls is because the owls use a kind of infrasound, that low-frequency stuff, and you don't just quite hear it, but it gets into your subconscious. They mock you, and you feel bad about yourself, and you walk around, and you feel like you should have tried harder to be a baseball player or that you bought the wrong shoes. So those walls, they block the infrasound. Thing is, it's actually tragic because the walls absorb the bad vibes and then they feel sad themselves. Go on, ask them. That's kind of sad, you know? Oh, the owls are chat? Ooh, I like that. All right, what are the reports here? Oh, this is, yeah, 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 yeah. We already got all of this. Amazing. This is pretty typical for the weird, weird emails that scientists receive. I am sorry to hear that. Shout out to any scientists and all the weird crap you have to put up with on the day-to-day. -day. All right, I had a spare tire. Do I have one in the car? I do. Okay, let's, let's repair this one as well. Do you fit here? You sure do. Amazing. Okay. Rad. Uh, so with that, friends, let's call it a day. So it sounds like we now have access to zone th three. Hello? Oh, I haven't picked up a blueprint. Wait, let's do lore first. Let's do this lore. Lore. 
four. Aha! Craft a limb shield. Sorry, one sec, one sec, one sec. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on the go, but the Deep Zone's grid is completely dark. You know, what if we could reroute our power into the Deep Zone? But we'd need to jumpstart the network somehow. That car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels. The driver induces a current, then you open the electrical floodgates. They'd have to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now, then go back to hunting ghosts. We've got a job to do here. <laughs> this could work. Are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? We don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. The team is assembled. Driver, get on with building that limb shield. We'll work on spinning up the power grid in the meantime. Let's leave that to the start of next stream. And also, apparently I got the lore wrong. Apparently, that's the old walls. And they added further outside walls. Probably as it spread, they needed to move further and further out to contain it. Which is kind of interesting. All right. Uh, yeah, let's call it there. Friends, this has been delightful. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Save and quit. There we go. Uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for the subs and the biddies and the good vibes. I also want to say a huge shout out to the Raiders. Thank you for stopping on by. Thank you to Chuck. Are there any other raids today? Thank you to Chuck. <laughs> hey, I have one more stream. One more stream until the move, friends. So come on back tomorrow, right? Let's celebrate. Let's hang out together. And then the goal is one week from Monday, one week from tomorrow, I'm really hopeful that by Monday the 1st, we'll be back online broadcasting live from our new place, which is very exciting. So yeah, if you're new and you enjoy the vibes, give a follow. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Mountain. Oh, also important to note that uh, stream times are probably going to change back to what they were. Uh, looks like I'm going to be going back to 9 a.m. Pacific. Unless I really want to keep waking up early. I don't know if I do. We'll see. No, uh, no Noida. Last stream I'm doing at all. Uh, I've got all of Tuesday off. There's a good chance that Noida, that uh, one more is done. Like that stream. That stream was something that I did while I was remote and I was gone. And I'm not either of those things anymore. So we'll, um, yeah, I'll talk to Lur about it. But consider the last one more I did to be the final one. Which is kind of sad. It was a fun stream. But it was, uh, it was always meant to be temporary. That was always the expectation when we made the show. April 1st stream, no joke. No jokes. I am a humorless individual. Speaking of which, <laughs> segue. Let's go raid somebody. Humpst. You know we haven't raided in a while? Let's go raid Kate. We like Kate. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping on by. And I will see you next time.